What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Where the Local Skate. I'm your host, once again, OG Skate Show. This is a podcast where we get to know local skaters on and off the board. And of course, here with me always, we got one of the couch boys today. What's up, everybody? David How you guys And now, let's introduce the guest this week. I'm very excited to have this guy on the show today. Uh, Robert, a.k.a. American Dream Auto Repair. Dude. Thanks for having me. Thank Dude, you me, all the way from Washington. <laughs> Thank you for coming down. Yep. Let everybody know what city you're repping. I'm always representing Whittier, and I'm representing uh, Benton City, Washington also. Okay. Uh, but always my hometown. Always your hometown. Always Whittier. my hometown, yep. Shout always out. come back. Never forget. Yep. For those that don't know, uh, my homie right here is a guy that got me on the skateboard. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. How did you start skateboarding? Um... Just a mutual friend. I think it was like a freshman year. Freshman, freshman year. So you're thinking like '91. Yeah, when bought a board, I went to Skate Cafe up on Lambert. I don't think it's there anymore. And I bought my first board there, and then I never stopped since. Dang. Okay. So. Yeah. So, so Skate Cafe had a mini ramp in the back, and it was right next to the Arco off of Lambert. So where is that? Over by it was by Two Felons. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So that's where I bought my first board. All right. All right. Yeah, no, no trucks, just the decks. I had to use cheap trucks, but it was good. Made it work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, dude. And because I, I always wondered, like, how you got introduced to skateboarding. Because I know I, I, you were the one that got me on the board, like I said. So uh, that's cool, dude. Do you remember your first board? What it was that you purchased? The very first one was a was a Pal Peralta. It was a Tony Hawk deck. Okay. And then and then I think the next one was a Black Label Crutch board. Okay. And then after that, I got the the Jason Lee Whopper Slick Deck from Blind over at, over at Spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the fact that you know the all your boards. Yeah, the details, man. The details, <laughs> so, yeah. Because my mind, man, you know, it's it's I, I forget a lot of things. But I do remember my first one when we went to, uh, I don't remember the skate shop, but we went all the way to Huntington Beach mm-hmm. to go purchase the Sean Sheppey, the one I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, and what, and what the green machine? The green machine. Yeah, my mom's car. Why are we going way out here for your board? <laughs> this the whole way. Oh yeah, that was mom's for you. <laughs> um, what came first though? Were you already into like the magazines, or or did skate did the skateboard come first before the? Someone had a magazine. It was when I lived in Southwood here. Mm-hmm. Someone had a magazine, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh man, you know. But there was no like. No one really skated back then. Mm-mm. So yeah. to, to find like a skate shop. What year would this be? To... I'd say 90, 91, 81, 91. maybe even 89. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Actually, when I found out about Skate Cafe, it's because I wanted to pair, buy a pair of docks because I'm really into the metal scene, you know? So I was buying docks and then Skate I Cafe. I skate Cafe pair. was the only one that sold docks back then. I had the low like, ones. I didn't have the ones that, you know, went all the way up. Yeah. yeah. I had the 10 holes, and then I went in there, and they had a ramp in the back. And I was like, oh, man, this place is badass. And there's people shredding the ramp. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that, that's, yeah, that's that, how I found out about that. That's cool. Yeah, I think my dad took me down there. That's cool, dude. Shout out to Pops for that. I still have the, they would sell these um, skate rock tapes, like punk rock tapes, and I still have them. I still have them at the house. What was that, like a... Like a mixture of just skate music or like yeah, it was punk just music? like they called it. Um, it was called skate rock or skate punk, and it was just a bunch of random songs that were on there from like local bands. Okay. And I still have the tape of this, the, the original artwork on it. That's cool. Yeah. That's so sick. That's so cool. Dude. Yeah, because I know I know that you always save all your stuff, man. And it, 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 it's cool to go through all that stuff later on and be like, dang, I remember this day because it it kicks up a memory too. Oh yeah, it unlocks a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you goofy or regular? I'm regular. Regular. Still pushing Mongo for some reason. But <laughs> nah, it's you all don't. good. It's all good. Is nothing wrong with that? You don't push Mongo. I never see you push like that. Every now and then. Yeah, it's just comfortable. It's crazy. Yeah, that's just the way life is, right? It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with pushing Mongo. Well, Mongo's life. I thought because I, I, I could have sworn I could have sworn like I was the only one at the time that was in the scene that was doing that, and and it's crazy because I really never got any beef for it, you know, like. Until later, when I started pushing, ten years later, and I was like in front of like a, like a crowd. It was like a little demo or something, and I went and started skating, 
the announcer's like, we got a Mongo in the house. And I'm like, ah, damn. And I was like, I skated switch the rest of the day, man. I can... <laughs> like, all, right, all right, all right, all right. I got it, I got it. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm goofy. You don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. So who, who would be the favorite skater back then? then? Back in the day? Yeah. I'd say Jason Lee, man. Jason Lee. Yeah, Jason Lee had those... 360 flips that were just immaculate. Yeah. Yeah. The, I still have his ten the pow. I still have his uh his airwalk demo tape back in the day. It was like a ten minute tape. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> him just skating or what? Yeah, him skating through downtown. It's like he was promoting the shoe or something. Wow. Yeah, That's I crazy. Still, I still have that tape. That is so crazy. I mean I we want to see these things come to the light of day one day, you know? Like, hopefully one day you so can... If I bring a U-Haul down here, man, I'll bring all that shit. Well, I mean, yeah. like, if we could transfer them over, somehow we could share them out to you, uh, YouTube or something. You could you could even make your own channel and just start putting all that stuff on there. Yeah. People you know would what I'll be do psyched. Is, is I'll probably just donate it to you guys. It's not doing me any good. I mean, I, I watch it. I've been there. Yeah. But I got a lot of footage from back. Back in the day. Right. It's in high skate park stuff, you know, when everyone was just coming up. I got a lot of footage of those guys. Um, I remember going to Huntington High. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who was who was there when you were when we were kicking it that you remember? When we were kicking it, I mean, you'd see Muska there. Um, Penny. You'd see Penny there all the time. The Flip guys would be there. Mm -hmm. Chad Fernandez. Sick, you know. Was, all the all the dudes would be down there. Wasn't Chad Fernandez the dude that came out in that movie Grind? I don't know. I never seen that. I think I think he did come out in it. He was the first one to kill Hollywood. I know that that Hollywood high rail. Oh no way! Yeah, he, he would kill that rail. The wow. Big Brother videos. Yeah, okay, he was he was destroying that thing. What a trip! Yeah, That's so crazy. And you did mention something about seeing uh, who was it? TV. You used to mention TV. Yeah. So that was. Uh, TV skateboards, that was probably like... It was probably short-lived, right? Because I, I don't remember. Yeah. But you said it was Mike Vallely, or yeah, Mike yeah, Vallely, excuse in, in me. Templeton. Yeah, at Templeton. Yeah, and I remember seeing Mike at Huntington High. This was probably like 91. Uh-huh. There was probably like 100, 100 kids skating there that day. And he was doing cat tail slides, and I remember that. I never forgot it. I was like, what the fuck? This guy's just going for it. Is that like the... Was that the small rail under in the in that little hallway? It was like towards the entrance. Of the yeah, yeah, it towards like the entrance. Kink. But yeah, he was just he was just going for it. The only thing I could skate there was that jib in the back, the 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 stairs. Yeah. They yeah, had the yeah. little curve that went down the stairs. With Tom Penny back back tailed all the way up it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> were you guys Were you guys the other day? Huh? Were you guys the other day? No, I wasn't there that day. No, it was it was in a video, right? Or something. Yeah, like, it was in. I can't remember which one. Yeah. No, I just remember I went one time and I seen just. Andrew Reynolds sitting there on his board, and, I was, and my homie right here was like, dude, Andrew Reynolds is right there. I'm like, oh, great, I'm not skating. <laughs> <laughs> Making me nervous right now. <laughs> yeah, man. But, and again, dude, like, those days were so cool, going to, like, Huntington High. We would go to Shafee High. Mm -hmm. Remember Shafee? Yeah. Oh, my God. And I was all planning on doing so much stuff there until I got there, and I saw what the ledges really looked like. Chunky and everything. Chunky, round, like, I mean, you know, Back then, the bikes didn't have the the nice pegs where they, oh, you know, yeah. where yeah, they could yeah. land nice and smooth or whatnot. So they were, they were pretty chunky. Yeah, I think we went on some adventures. Yeah. No cell phones. No. No GPS. No maps. No, no. I mean, we have a Thomas guide every now and then, but yeah. that was about it. Yeah. Right, that that spot sucked. We'll go back there. <laughs> Dude, so but, many spots, man. It, it, it kind of still stands true to this day because it just kind of happened to us yesterday. Yeah. yeah we, were, we were cruising around. I was like, oh, I know the spot that I've been to a while back. And uh, I was just chilling there. And then we were like, oh, this knob. And we're like, damn, what a bus. I was like, well, I haven't been here in three years. All right. And, well, and then I go, well, don't come back here now. Yeah. It brings back that, like, that, that nostalgic feeling, I guess. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, dude. I, we should go visit the lip slide while you're here. Yeah, we should. <laughs> you can see how dry and chunky. And it's probably exactly the way we used to skate it, but except it for the was, wax, except for the wax, the uh, curbs. Yeah, I think we had what two candles per per. <laughs> <laughs> but because we didn't know anything about rub bricking back in the day and using the salva socks, you know. So, dude, I just rub bricked my first ledge. 
Sick. the other day, and we went back to it yesterday because we went back to Caltech. Uh huh. And I, and I, I don't. All I did was rub brick and wax, and I went to it. And I was like, dude, this shit's buttery now, mm-hmm. and I only better one coat. And before all the technology, I guess you would say, or people like experimenting or teaching everybody basically with online stuff. Right, right. I learned from Raj from the Nine Club. Like he talked about rub brick, and I'm like, okay. And then I actually seen what, you know, what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And I was like, wow. And the, the ledge actually stays pristine longer, too. It just doesn't get round as fast. It kind of, it's weird. Once you put that lacquer on there, it's kind of, kind of like a, you, you like marbleized it or something. It's crazy. Move out of California. <laughs> you're going to appreciate the red curves, man, I tell you. Oh. You will, no curves are like the California red curves, man. Ah. For some reason, I don't know what it is with the paint, but yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, because these red the curves, same. you can pretty much almost just. Yeah, wax them. When I see a California red curve, I'm like, there we go. Yeah. There we go, <laughs> man. There we go. Let's get it. Yeah, I was hoping to take you to the Huntington uh, skate park where they had that nice long curve yeah. to skate, you know? Oh, the one, the one you guys went to not too long ago, right? Yeah. But, uh, man, dude. Dude, that's so rad, dude. Who, what were the your favorite videos back then? Let's see. We had Questionable. Questionable was always like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out virtual reality too I'd say for me back in the day like early days was probably like a celebrity tropical fish that old pal video watching um, Adam McNatt's part okay yeah that part always got me like that guy was ripping back then that's so cool yeah dude I remember these things and I still have the tape I bet I bet yeah I still got the tape I still we probably watch it a million times yeah I remember just sitting in your apartment we would just watch a couple clips and then go back right back out and get get Mm -hmm. to the curves and Try to mimic what we saw. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. The good old days, man. Yeah. All right. And uh, but yeah, for me it was virtual reality. Always, uh, Sean Sheffy really just impacted me because he was a big dude. Yeah. You know, he had I was, power. Yeah, he, he has power. power. Dude, I actually just saw the actual clip of him all in over his son. Oh, I was going to say this. Oh. Boy's usually behind me, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I actually just finally saw it because someone posted it on Instagram. And I was like, oh shit. Yeah. It looked nothing like what I thought it did. Yeah. Dude, and to think, dude, after all those years watching Sean Sheffy and ollie over his son, I never thought I'd meet his son that was in the... Oh, little, really? Yeah. <laughs> and now I see him and when we're real, we're friends, you know, like yeah. we say hello to each other when we when we pass each other by. So shout out to Julian out there, man. He's he's a rad dude. He's, yeah. he's a jeweler. He's a jeweler as well. Nice. Yeah, he makes jewelry. So shout out to him out there. There you dude. go. Yeah, man. So I got introduced to him by Jonas. Oh, no shit? Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. So, man, and, and to think, dude, Jeremy Ray was a big inspiration to us as well mm-hmm. when we skated because... That old Blockhead video. The Blockhead, and then... That, that front side, he was like He was San pretty Diego. close. He was local to us, you know. He was La Habra, and we were right here in Whittier, so... I mean, and, and, and then now... I, I would... It's cool to say that we're friends with, Jer- with Jeremy Ray yeah, now, yeah, too, so... Yeah. It's a it's a crazy world, man. The skate world is it's it's crazy. I never thought the day would happen. We're all connected somehow. Yeah, through the we're skateboard, all, we're man. All connected somehow. Dude, yeah. I, I I trip out on that because someone at work was asking me. They're all like, "Oh, you skate?" And I was like, "Yeah." He's all, "Do you know this person?" This person? I was like, "You know what? Actually, they're my homies." Yeah. When yeah I, and it's weird for me to say like they're actually my friend. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, am I am I really that old where the where the skate community is getting that small? We actually know that many people now. Yeah, I mean, I just, mean, you got a lot of. Think about how much time you're gonna spend together at the spot, you know. Yeah. Spots. You know? You're always Spots. going out in the streets and, and hitting LA, so you're always bumping in maybe the Baker dudes out there sometimes. You yeah, know, we'll like, catch them at like uh, what is it? At that Mac- school, right? I think I was gonna say Mac, but no. Uh, it's that school that they always stop and park at, right? I can't remember the name of the school now. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but uh, dude, it, it, it's a it's a trip house. It, big this community is, but how. You know, like, you can actually meet these people. It's not like, a, you know, a movie star. You know right, what I mean? Right, the, right, right. You can't really get to them unless you're at a premiere or something. Even then, you're probably, like, far away. Right. <laughs> you know, and these guys, they're, they're like, phew, you know, you can shake their hands, man. It's, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Okay, I remember the school. It's VAPA, Visual okay. Arts Performance School. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's it, right. I've never been there. Yeah, it, it's they a, uh, it's they, in downtown. You'll see them skating like the slappy curbs right there all the time. Oh, everything. Okay. Did they yeah. did they knob them though or no? Everything's still solid. Like okay. you can go there and then there's like a Burger King right across the street. So I'm always there getting ready of cheeseburgers. There you go, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. Skate life, man. Yeah, Get Burger King. Deals. Sponsor Get me. Deals, huh? Get those deals, man. We did it, huh? Remember back in the day? What Remember, but dude, Jack in the Box before they re- we used to skate the Jack in the Box before they redid it. Mm-hmm. Man, and then the tacos and like they, they had like a deal because they had gotten in trouble at one time. Yeah, where people got sick. Yeah, people were getting people sick. Got sick. And so we're they're like giving away like a hamburger, two two tacos, and a drink for like ninety nine cents. We were like, I'm willing to risk it as a skater, man. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> Nah, I, I used to live off those tacos too when we used to hang out in our jack in the box. They're good. Dang, They're just still. enough hot sauce in there, you'd be all right. Yeah. I remember we'd all get our money together and we'd order like a whole tray where you just see like all the tacos like, yep. like oh, yeah. lined up all perfect. We'd be like, fuck it, dig in. The only bad part is they're not two for a buck anymore, man. Yeah. yeah. Are they not? No. I don't know. It's like $1.29, I guess, where I'm at. Wow. That's yeah, like, everything's going up though. Everything's going up. Yeah. The cost of living is going up, and they're not, but they're not increasing my pay. Enough, I should say. They did. They they did increase me, but, but not, it just they just leveled me back out with the, with society, man. Where I was at. They're they're gonna do. Is they're gonna give you a pizza party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. They, that's what they try to do. They try. They're, to they're like, here's a pizza party for uh, yeah, making yeah. us a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> some people know about this show now for my work, so I gotta <laughs> be careful what I say. <laughs> There's so much that goes into like. Yeah. That people don't realize or understand. That's true. That's true. Being, yeah. being in business, it's like, I look at it, and I'm like, well. <laughs> yep. Consumer always pays. Yeah. And regardless, any cost that goes up, mm-hmm. the consumer bears the cost. And that's yeah. just the way it goes. And people don't grasp that that, that concept. Is yeah. yeah. The government raised taxes on the business. Business mm-hmm. raised taxes to you guys. For that's sure. That's just the way it goes. Just to make up that cost that they're losing. The, yep. the, the company is not going to lose money. They're in the business to make money. Yeah. And you know what? If, if, if their cost goes up, your cost goes up. Mm. You know, payroll taxes go up. Guess who's going to hit? Yeah. The employees. Consumers. Listen, yeah, listen consumers. out there, people. Listen. All right. Do you remember what skate shoes were rocking back then? Well, back then it was only the Airwalks. Airwalk ones. The Airwalk ones or the gym Ooh, shoe. I used to love those. The gym shoe. Um, you remember we went to, where was that? It was off the 55, I believe. California cheapskates. Cheapskates. We went in the back of uh, Mark's truck. We just rode all the way down there. And I bought those white gym shoes. And then we had to buy those green Etnies with the, the white stitching. Uh-huh. Remember? Dude, anything green, man. I was yeah, always you're like, oh, check these out. Dude. Nice. I think that was the first time I ever ordered shoes through the mail was the Airwalk ones that were green. Yeah. I never would... Could what that wasn't a thing back in the day, you know? Like you, we would get those little CCS magazines. Yep. But I would just fantasize about what I wanted out of that book. I never <laughs> actually ordered anything. I still know. have a lot of those. Yeah. Ooh, did you hear that? Was that a, a little good? explosion out there? World War Three? No. No, because we still got lights. <laughs> I was like, China, China's <laughs> invading. Uh, we still got lights. <laughs> no, you gotta be careful what you when you start talking about the government, man. They just start shutting off the power over here. No. <laughs> I want to hear that, dude. Don't get I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hear that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, dude. So, what about now? What are you rocking now? All right, now I got the Lakai's. 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 Um, I pretty much buy it. Like, whatever fits my foot good. Mm-hmm. That's rocking. what you're rocking. That's what I'll be rocking. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta look good. I don't have, you know. It's gotta be a little stylish, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think. I think that's one thing we build over time as we get older. We start like. Getting more stylish, because especially if you grew up, like, you know, not being yeah. able to get whatever you want, you're like, now nah, I'm going to get the sickest shoes yep. with the sit with the pants and match and all yep. that. Oh, well, once God. you start making money and you don't, like, I don't know, I'm just speaking for me, but growing up with, with really, like, Dude, sniffing. our shoes were so bad yeah. in high school. We always had shoe goo. Shoe goo, duct tape. It was like, my mom was like, why are you, you're getting, you're, my mom was like, she, she wanted to buy me shoes, but the way we're going through them, yeah, you know what I mean? She was like, I can't have you going to school looking like that. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm going to look like a bad parent, you know, yeah. but, but at the same time, I'm skating every day, so I'm ripping these things constantly. They didn't last back then. And, uh, and of course, they didn't last back and, 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 and yeah, of course they didn't have the stuff they have now, but even then though, I think maybe they did have a shoe that maybe would last, but I, we weren't going to pay that price yeah you know what i mean we're i was getting a 30 dollars dbs's that were you know like all right these will last for a month maybe what's the story about when the sole broke in half on one of my shoes yeah remember you said that 
Yeah, I Is had it some water or something. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I had some old like I think they were S's, and they were like the light brown, like the penny looking ones, but the light brown ones, and they had the gum sole. <laughs> but I hadn't worn them in like two years, right? So then one day I popped them on, and I didn't know that the sole, the gum sole, got brittle. So it was like, as soon as I took one step, <laughs> the shoe cracked in half, and I didn't know that. And I'm, rock, I'm walking around, and one day it's raining, and my whole sock is soaked. Like, what the hell? I finally folded the shoe, and I was like, oh, my God, it's like cracked in half, bro. <laughs> I have a lot of skate shoes that I just don't. You know, they probably just weren't. For that, you know just what? for that, I won't I even bet try you that, No, they weren't even S. I, I bet you they were the DVS. Because I wasn't rocking S until recently when I came back to skating again. Because I was still thinking, yeah, I, I was still shopping at uh, Family Sports maybe and and, and and getting some whatever was on sale. Yeah, whatever they had there. Damn. Man, I learned my lesson now. Dude, I miss those days. The, sale, the sales fucking area and the shoes. I, I walked into Borders the other day. And I was like, "Where's the sales section?" I'm like, yeah. "They got nothing they want. They don't. They don't even have skate shoes anymore." Now it's just like New Balance, Nike, and Adidas. Oh, yeah. Well, those are skate I don't, shoes. I don't. <laughs> I don't consider them skate shoes because I grew up with you know Fallen, Etnies right. America. Uh, what else? There was. Uh, what was that brand that Jaws used to ride for? Oh, yeah. uh, Vox. There was Vox. There was uh, Declines. Yeah. Did you ever? Did you ever get the? Um, Dunks or, or the Dukes or I'm sorry what was it was the Jerry Ray one I'm sorry oh, the Dukes yeah no I never did buy those they had, they had they're they they're, they're clean looking yeah and I think they did they release a generic version after that I'm not sure man but a lot of people would use the silhouette of it you know mm -hmm. like once something cool comes out they they run it yeah it's like they just stamp it out dump 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 yeah. dump you know I mean look at the Janowski's once like low profile shoes came out like that. Everyone was making a low profile shoe just like to, yeah. to match the Janowski. Sure, sure. Yeah, because it sold. Yeah. It sold good. If it man. sells, everyone's just going to copy and paste. It's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes, man. Yeah, man. Dude. But, but like I said, shoes shoes were a, a big deal back in the day for us, man. Because they didn't last long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, Whenever we had 30 bucks, straight to Madrid's. Yeah. Let's buy a deck. Dude, let's yeah. Let's buy a deck. No grip. Let's buy a deck. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Madrid, man. Letting us go to his house and purchase boards. The marble slicks and then the, was it 25 for, for a non-slick and, and then 28 or 30 for a slick. Was it like yeah, that? Yeah, it was like that. Wow. As soon as he wanted, he just had them all stacked up right there. Stacked. That was cool, dude, back that's, in the day. That's when skateboards actually were affordable. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, not, not well, even then, but it was still expensive, you know? Yeah. Back right. then, it was still... A lot. Yeah, it was still a lot, especially when, you know... We really didn't have a whole lot back then. Man, and then we would take those to the to the, well, we call them ever sticks. I remember, and we would take them to the lip slide or, one of my favorite places to skate was Mulberry. <laughs> Mulberry man. Mulberry was so fun, dude. People I'm, would throw it down in Mulberry. I missed the ledge there, man. The one that was by the door on the yep. sidewalk. With a crack in front of it. Yep, I would pop from right before that crack, and you would have to gap it a little bit because that ledge. Would, it like had like a like a caddy corner like it it had a it went to the wall and then and then the ledge came out so you had to go over that part yeah and man dude that I used to fr uh, board side that thing switch front board that thing Pfft, that was my favorite and it was kind of like pitched like a like kind of like this yeah so it was like you you had to get on it like perfect it was fun. I got wrecked a few times on that thing. <laughs> I got wrecked a few times. On that I'm sure I have too. Man. Yeah. I'm sure I have too. I remember 7-Eleven in Uptown when you rolled your ankle. Oh. <laughs> he was there when I tore all the ligaments on oh. my ankle. And he's laying there and he's like, hey, you got to go get your El Camino. And I'm like, damn, it's way the hell down there. But it's like two blocks. I'm like, going to have to live here for a while, bro. <laughs> no, I was, dude, it was crazy because he went into the liquor store. I ollied down off the parking lot into the yeah, sidewalk yeah. <laughs> and then I told him when he came out I'm like dude I just landed this ollie no you didn't do it again <laughs> <laughs> so it always happens that's how it always happens and I, I tried to do it again and rolled my ankle so bad that I was like mm, that didn't look good. it was Damn by it. the time I took my shoe off my foot was purple Ugh. Uh, and then we just bought a big old bag of ice and then uh I, I, I think some Advil and some ice. <laughs> Advil, some ice, a little bit of cannabis. 
And then, yeah. uh, and next thing you know, like, you know, we're outside, you know, chilling, and then your neighbor was like, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but I would think you should see one. <laughs> she was like, it's definitely broken, and then the doctor said it wasn't broken. Yeah, I remember he said that it would be better if it was. Yeah, true, true. I hate when they tell you that. Yeah. yeah I was like, well, it would be better if you did break it, but... Ah, now it was over a year for me to get better. But, man, that was when you lived in Uptown Whittier. When did you move out to Uptown? Hmm, I don't remember the years, but uh, I'd say probably 98. This was after 98? high school, right? Yeah, it was 98. Yeah. When rent was still 500 bucks a month. Wow, <laughs> and that was probably like, man, it was probably doable back then, but I was, was it expensive? A, no, I was making pretty good money because I was working for companies in Santa Fe Springs, so I was making pretty good money. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I think one thing if you ask Thomas, I would get my check, I would cash it, and we straight down to Liberty. Liberty. Ooh. Yeah, we were straight to Liberty. Every Skate every shop. Friday they knew, like, the guys were like, hey, what's up, man, you know, and buy boards, buy shoes, whatever. I was like, I didn't care, 500 bucks. I was making pretty good money back then. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Thomas always had the best shoes. I know. For, for a four-year-old. <laughs> yep. yep, he was rocking it, dude. And it's yeah. crazy, I still get that California rent, that's it. Mine, mine's only 600 yeah, I'm I'm lucky right now. That's why yeah, I don't want to move. In. Man, I don't want to move anywhere. Yeah, I'd stick I'd stick it out as long as you can. I just I'm trying. Right. You know. Yeah, man, dude. Shout out to Thomas, dude. Always rocking the best, the cool stuff. I made him a little tea. What is it? A, a tea money shirt. Yeah, I still have it. Yeah, I still have it. Tea money. Still, yeah, like I I had like made like an iron on shirt for him and stuff. And like oh, like tea money. What the hell? Yeah, 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 you call him too money. <laughs> I have all his old shirts. Dude, he was like, skate, bro. He was always money when he skated, man. Yeah. We took him everywhere. Yeah. You know? And the Elko, he was, he went with us everywhere, man. He, he still skates or? He does, but he's, you know, when we moved away, we kind of lost touch with, like, the skate scene because it's just different when you move out of, out of California. Yeah. You know, I'm used to, like, just cruising the boulevard or, you know, going to certain spots, but when you move away, it's, it's, Few and far between, other than if you want to hit the park, but I was never really a park person. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's true. Back in we, the didn't day, have, we, didn't, we didn't have parks back in the day. We didn't have parks. The only thing that, like, remember pay and play? Is in La Habra, we used to be able to go on these basketball courts and you put, like, coins in the machine, like the wall, and you turn the lights on for money. Mm-hmm. You don't remember going skating in there? And uh-huh. we, we, would, we took a parking block inside there and everything. Oh, that's right here. Was yeah, it? That was right here by the Days Inn. By the Days Inn? Yeah, we. we, we <laughs> Was it? What did we do? Pulled the, we pulled, we either broke a window. No, 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 no. This was another place where they're like courts. They're like indoor basketball courts. You don't remember that spot? Mm. Ah, I could have sworn we went there. Yeah. We would skate inside there and I would, I would feel, I would trip out because the wheels would damage the, the, the floor. <laughs> you know, you could see oh, all our wheel marks everywhere. I remember that time. Yeah, we would go in there and we, we couldn't turn the lights on. We didn't have no money, but we, we knew we could go in there and skate. Hmm. And it would be loud too, like if you like, you didn't land your board right here on the on the flat part. <laughs> that cool out loud. It's like that indoor skateboard sound, like. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Like. Yeah, like, I think back then it was like um, nobody really skated, and we were like the outcast. You know? We were skating inside the police academy. Remember? Yeah. Oh like, yeah, and they got pissed. Yeah, because yeah, they, they, they had good stair sets in there, man. Yeah. Like I wish you guys could skate. Like, see what they got in there, but now it's all fenced up. I mean, now that I look at it, yeah, I'd be pissed too because we just skated the memorial thing. <laughs> oh, shit, that's right. Remember? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We waxed awesome. it. And they got, what the hell are you doing over here? It was like, oh, was, it mar- <laughs> was it marble or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We were skating the memorial thing. They, they, they threw us out pretty quick. Yeah, probably should have done that part. <laughs> but we would always skate the loading dock in the back as well. Mm-hmm. I never liked the loading docks. I didn't like, I never liked straight drops. I needed something yeah. to like. Gap over. Myself yeah, over. for me, like even now, it's like give me a double sided curve that's painted red. Yeah. A little bit of wax, I'm fucking good. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. You know that's that's just me. I was never a stair guy, and I hated doing stairs. Yeah. But you'd have me. You'd send you, me. You, you, you'd be like, Rich. <laughs> he was like, got this one, Rich. He was like the test dummy. Yep, like, yep. Hey, you want to see someone jump down something? Call Rich. He's like, he's that. holding the camera, you know. So I got that footage, man, and it, it looks so clean because the angle I was at, and you just the eight stare at Cali. Yeah, you just fucking bombed it, broke your board, rolled, <laughs> got up, and you're like, yeah. For those out there that don't know that I actually used to be able to skate, you know, man. I, I'm still mind blown by this. 
I've never seen Escape to jump down anything. Well, well yeah, that's a big say. Besides the two, the two at LP. The two at LP. I did a five stair at the Cal High, at not Cal High. What's it? La uh, Habra High. That was. It looked so weak on camera, but it felt so big. In <laughs> <laughs> you just feel your body. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was, I was decent shape at the time when I did it too, and I still felt like, wow, I, I didn't feel like a kid, you know, like where you have that lightness and you yeah. can float. I have another clip of you. There was a double set in Uptown. I was an old bank in Uptown. Yeah, the you double bank when I that you broke my, your board I again. Broke, yeah, I broke my board on that one too. You were like pissed off because I had to walk. I had to walk the rest of the day. We just got there. Yeah. That double set was so sick. It might still be there, actually. You know, I might have it's to. It's probably show. it's probably fenced off, but it's it's probably still there. I might have to take a drive, man. We got tools. We got tools. <laughs> we got tools. <laughs> uh, dude, I, I recently got me a. a um, what do you call it? Bolt cutters? Bolt cutters, yeah, because I needed to cut a fence that down here outside the studio. I should, uh, you, should, you should tell me I have, like, two pairs in the car. Oh, I needed my own pair. Yeah. No, hey, man, for, like, uh, cordless tools now, man. And, of course, they're green. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the Ryobi brand is what you're saying. <laughs> well, no, I don't know what brand it was, but I put my skate show sticker on it. So Actually, now that I look at my blower, brand. it is a Ryobi. Yeah. <laughs> I buy Ryobi, too, but people call me for it, so it's all good. Hey man, it's a battery man. Yeah, that's all it is. Man. I, I don't care. I just came up on a free Ryobi uh, grinder for taking skate stoppers off. No way. Uh, yeah, and then you gave me a, like a, a like an impact drill. Oh yeah, I gave him a Ryobi uh, impact because he had yeah. the battery for it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. Shout out, dude. I might snap on for mechanic stuff, but the, all the other stuff is like, why am I gonna spend you know yeah. an extra three hundred bucks if I'm just gonna use it yeah. you know, once on the weekend, if that. That's crazy. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with it. So what else footage you got of us? Because I, I we had we had some stuff. I know we got we got stuff from Mulberry, we got stuff from Cal High, Uptown Whittier. Um, you said you actually had some stuff that uh, contest too, right? Yeah, it was a contest at um, Carson College off the ninety one. Okay. And it was I think it was ninety five, ninety six, and everyone was there, and I have a lot, probably like good two hours of footage. From two days, two or three days of, of filming there. Wow. What, who, who, who were you capturing? Who was there? I got Penny. I got Muska. I got, like, the old Tom Knox, like, the older Tom Knox guy. And um, Jeremy was there. Okay. Yeah, Danny Way was there. Like, all the top people were there. Were they yeah. Plan B at the time? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I have it. I know I have it. And I, it's probably, like, a good two hours worth of footage. That's so, so cool. Man. I'll probably just I'll, I'll convert it for you guys. That it'll you be guys cool. Can edit it'll it be cool to watch, man. Because I got old park footage from um, Huntington High. Mm -hmm. Everyone just shredding over there. I don't remember. Did I ever go to? I don't think I ever went to the skate park. No, that was like a '94. Mm -mm. I've only seen it in the videos. '95. You know, so yeah, man. That's so crazy. We'd go to like Fullerton too, college, right? Stuff like that, where mm -hmm. where Chris Brown was driving down the damn uh, grass, <laughs> like he's taking his car down. <laughs> you're just laughing in the front seat. <laughs> I mean, this is before like Bam and all that were doing yeah, that stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, this is before cameras too, like yeah, like security cameras and uh, <laughs> cell phones. No cell phones. Yeah, man. I think I had a pager. I, I, haven't, I didn't get a pager until <laughs> I think you were living Uptown Weird by the time I got the pager. You know, so, but that was cool back to Uptown because we used to be able to skate the police station, the gyms, the, the, mm -hmm. the stair set back yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, that was so fun, dude. Double set, no slides. There goes all the paint on the nose, like one slide. One slide, man, because again, we didn't know the rub break. And there was a double set up in the front of the Whittier City Hall that we hit up a lot. Mm hmm. It was like a four and then a flat, another four. and Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. It's not even there. I checked the other day. It's not even there anymore. Dang. Yeah, man. It's those um, are the days, dude. Kawasaki's still there. They're on the boulevard. Yeah, the Kawasaki. It's still waxed as ever. I'm like, damn. We spent many nights hit, over there. Maybe you guys could get a clip of an old school spot. Yeah. I'd be over it. Yeah. Um, I'll just say, keep saying jibs. For those who don't know, yeah. what is a jib? Cause... A jib? So they would say that in the magazines, right? I don't know how we... Yeah, came it was up in with a that. thrasher mag we saw it and we're like oh that's what they're calling okay you were the you were the magazine guy you were always the the video guy i was just like i just wanted to skate most of the time you know basically i was like let's get on the board but yeah but 
yeah, you would show me all the stuff. Like that's how I learned about a lot of the music, and I got into different things because I was always thinking, growing up, being in school, you know, you're either you're either this or you're that. You couldn't be both. And then yeah, once yeah. once I figured out who cares, you could be both. You could do, you know, I you could dress one way and still skateboard, or or you could look like you listen to rap but listen to rock. It's so it's cool now, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. So now it's cool. Yeah, back but back then, then it back was like, then it was like they were like, who, 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 "Make up your mind." Yeah. I'm like, "What? Why do I have to do that?" You know. Yeah. I kind of I kind of was in high school at the butt end of that, where it's <laughs> either you're punk rock metal or you're yeah. or one of the gangsters. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, I was kind of like in between that stuff. So yeah, like you know. skateboarding back then was not so widely accepted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think when I was in high school, we had just become our own group, yeah. the skaters, yeah, yeah, and we were cool. like. Just cool. It was cool to be a skater. Yeah. The skater, what were we talking about? The bikers, right? Uh, the skaters and the bikers. We, skaters we had and our the own bikers spot. in the school, in high school. Yeah, but And bikers. even us as at the school, bikers were on this side and we were on this side yeah. of the jib. <laughs> For those that don't know, the jib is the little, it, it, like when they put a little up. curb right next to the stair set. So it wouldn't quite be a hubba. It was a, like a mini hubba, but it's just a curb going down a, a stair set mm-hmm. with no handrails going down it. So that, I mean, we would be able to no slide down. I would. I would just place my nose on there. <laughs> I was off to the races, man. Yeah, he was flying. He's gliding through the air. <laughs> gliding. And, dude, I mean, so to answer your question, that's a jib. I, that's what we call them. Yeah, I just had to bring it up because I'm like, you know, how many young people are watching this and are like, right, right. what's well, a jib? Was talking about <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I believe the story is true that a, a K grind we used to call them K grinds mm-hmm. before they were crooked grinds but the K grind wasn't a costing grind I don't know yeah I, I, I believe know. that Eric Costin was the first one to do those and it's, or or they coined it after the the costing grind so then it became the K grind and now everybody's like crook grind All right yeah. Yeah, the terminology changed a little bit. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's how the story went. <laughs> or a lift slide before it was a disaster slide. Oh yeah, yeah it was disaster know? slides. Yeah. The disaster slide sounds a lot better, but. Yeah. Back I, mean, I, I, I can see it because that's what it is on transition, you know. Mm-hmm. You, it ain't a, you only do a front lip. It's a you know, front disaster. You're a front disaster, yeah. Yeah, dude, those sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, what and I, and of course I would do some lip slides, but man, they were disasters. Cause if I did them back in the day, it was a good Pretty chance good. I was snapping a board. That's why I hate that trick. Yeah, yeah. I rather yeah. I rather do the back lip. You have to yeah. learn to finesse that nice little landing. Always man. cracking that sucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, but see, that's what I understand. You crack your board on a front lip, but on a back lip, for some reason it never really snaps. You just finesse it; just finesses right in. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. It's just uh it's just the way it goes. Yeah. I guess, I guess we're just too heavy, I guess. <laughs> I was. I was I, I was, I've always a been a guy. bigger guy on a skateboard, so that's why Sheffy was always like the man to me, you know, he was always like the big dude. Yeah. He was the big boy for of the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. He would go and he had man, he could Ollie, man. Yeah, that's a power. Back Ollie over like a just a, a planner that's uh-huh. wide as hell. You know, so, man. But, uh, yeah, man, I would love to see some more of that footage. I'm, I'm sitting on some footage that you sent me, like, you're showing me, like, you're watching some old tapes. And yeah. I'm sitting on some stuff I haven't put out yet. I think you, you guys seen some stuff. Yeah, you showed, you showed me when... Uh, like, you've seen some driveway stuff yeah. that I filmed on the side, but, uh, yeah, you had got a lot, man. You got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's, my, it's time to start just like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if you guys can do something with it, let me go for it. I would love to put it on my YouTube channel or whatnot. Yeah. And I've had it for years, man, and then I will make a watch that. You're talking about that I did a, that I, and you said, uh, there was another time, okay, so I stopped skating for a little bit. You said, you came to our homie's house, Carlos. Yeah. And then you said you brought your skateboard, and then I was like. Yeah, you, you were like, what year was that? I, Maybe 90, 90, it had to be 90. 94? No, no, because... Because I moved away. Okay. And then I came back, and I just randomly showed up at the house, and you guys were like, you, you grabbed my board, and you were just tearing Yeah, me. but I changed, right? I was like straight yeah, you're, you're hanging cholo looking, looking you know? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were still rich. And I was like, no, not not rich. on the board, and you said I grabbed your board and started skating? You are skating, and you, you were like, 
you could tell you missed it. <laughs> the passion was still there. Yeah. And I'm like, man, you're like a, you're like a skate, skate show. You're like a skate show. And you looked at me and you're like, what? <laughs> and then you skated. And I remember, I clearly remember you doing a nollie hill flip. And you were like so stoked that you landed it. You're like, man, I got to get a board again. Yeah. I got to get back on the board. And it was blowing my mind as I did a nollie hill flip. I got it. And it was clean. Now I got to get it those. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> your, your friend that was there, was, you know, everyone was looking like, damn, Rich is still, dude, Rich is still going for man, it, you know? I've, yeah. And, and that, and that did happen too, because you did move away, which kind of like, I didn't have anybody to skate with because skateboarding was not popular at the time. Uh, I remember, I don't know if I was working for All-Star Glass at the time, but once I started w working for the, the auto glass company, that's when I would leave work and go to La Habra skate park by myself. Yeah. And, and I didn't have any friends that skated except for the kids I would meet at the skate park, maybe just say what's up. And then I would go and do my other life, yeah. where it's partying and get going out with the homies, you know. So I had like a double life, which one day it finally just took over. One day I was just like, all right, yeah. I put the board down, and uh, yeah, but yeah, that was the second time I got back into it. Plus, my brothers and them started skating, yeah, yeah. Hit, and and I was building all kinds of little DIY spots for them, and then uh, and then I lost it again, and yeah. Well, you until know, that you, Christmas time when you I end up, by. You, you end up in a relationship or life happens, yeah, you life end up happens, working. Man. No, that's you know, just the way so it you is. put the board down and But then again, you got me <laughs> back on the board. This I, guy is the why I skateboard, I tell you. I remember I went to like when I started making money with a shop and I came down for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Remember it was the first time I came back in like a long probably ten years. Right. And I went down to two felons and I just bought like a stack of decks. Yep. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get rich back into this. Mm -hmm. And then I just came up behind you and said, hey, dude. And you looked at it, you're like, what? what? Yeah, it was just a skateboard deck, right? Yeah. And I was like, all right, I got to get the rest. And you're like, when I come back, we're going to skate. Because you were taking off or something. Yeah. You just bought a bunch of stuff from Two Fellows before yeah. you were bouncing. And so you get, you're like, you're, we're, you're like, we're going to skate when I come back. I was like, all right. Yeah. Dude, I did not put that board together until you came back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember that. Day. I was like, Father's Day or something, right? Yeah. 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 I oh. remember I went to two felons and I bought, I probably bought like five or six boards. Uh -huh. I said, no, just give me another one, give me another one. So I had some money, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was handing out decks to all my friends. I was like, not Rich, Gil. Yeah. You know, obviously I got one for Thomas, me, and yeah. you know, I probably gave a couple other ones away. Do you remember what deck, what deck it was? They're shop decks. Shop decks. Okay. Shop decks. Two felons. It's probably in the stack right there. Okay. I remember I got Rich a wider one. I was like, nah, Rich is probably going to want a wider board. Yeah. Yeah, and then I remember, like, you called me, you're like, are you ready? I'm coming back to town. I was like, oh, no. I had to get everything. And I didn't, you know, and it's crazy because I wasn't going to Two Fountains. I ordered everything online. Yeah. And then you're like, why don't you go there? Excuse me. And then I was like, all right, let me go check it out. And I got yeah. mad love. And then, of course, my brother is already a local there. So shout out to Chris. And they, oh, they're like, oh, I got stories. I was like, great. Maybe this isn't my shop. Now. <laughs> no, but those dudes are rad over there. Shout out to them. Yeah, they're, you know. they're doing good. Yeah. Shout they out to them. Really, really good um, with what they're doing, with their, their branding and stuff. They're, oh, they're, yeah, they're, they're amazing, killing it. They're, they're killing amazing it. Amazing job. You yeah, gotta give shout outs to the old man, too, for giving, having stories there. Yeah, uh, yeah, shout out to my brother, man. <laughs> we saw him yesterday when we went yeah, skating. Yeah, and he's bringing up stuff that I told him back in the day, and I'm like, <laughs> looking at him, like, what did I tell you? And he's like, you told me this. When I started going to high school, you said, follow this path and it'll be easier. And I didn't listen to you, but now I, when I graduated or when I finished, I looked back he and never I was like, graduated. man, Robert was, Robert was ready. <laughs> <laughs> Might have got a GED or something. Yeah. But he was yeah. telling me stories like, like yeah. I told him about like life stuff. And he was like, he's like, oh, yeah, I never forgot it, man. I, I tripped out. I was like, damn. Okay, no, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, you never thought that you, you like you said, you inspired me to skate, and then you you got some words of influence into my brother's head yeah. that he's never forgotten. So. It wasn't like bad shit either. No, no, which is good, which is good, and and you know you can tell that he respects you, and you know he held on held on to that information. Buying a beer. And now hopefully <laughs> buying a beer back in the day. Here, here's a beer and some words of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Sit down, I want to talk to you real quick. <laughs> before, before, before you go fuck up, yeah. put yeah. this in your hand. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's take the edge off a little bit. Just some of these words. Oh, yeah, man. Dude, that's so crazy. We got the, that, that, that's cool that we got to share the story how 
you gave me the name Skate Show and how it was actually born, so mm -hmm. that's rad. I appreciate that. And, and, and I never knew one day that it was going to be, like, something I could, you know, tr transition into, you know? Like, sure. kind of like, sure. like, well, why don't I just take advantage of the name and I start making, like, lighters, koozies, you know? Like, shirts, because I, I was skating and rocking, like, Grizzly Grip shirts and stuff, and I'm like, I'm using mob grip, so I felt bad. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, no, nah, I was just, doesn't seem right. I don't skate for them, you know. So I was like, let me, let me, let me rock stuff that I'm actually like. I'll wear this shirt, you know. I got your yeah. shirt on, you know. I'll, I'll rock it. For those who don't know, I did the, I did the, I did the lettering for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, made the shirts for you too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got them made for you for Christmas, I believe. Still rocking that logo. Yeah. You know what's crazy? When that, when I started wearing those shirts up there, mm -hmm. and the sweaters came out too. Every, a lot of the shops started copying the, the design. No way. Yeah, and I got really pissed about it. Because like, I would see them, and I'm like... Did they already wear, like, a shirt? As, well, they would have their shirts, they would but, have their shirts. like, the way that they did the A and the D. Yeah. Like, there's another shop that copied it with his... Ah, with his damn. Group, like, the sweaters that we did. See, that's a... That's a it, it, I you take it as an appreciation to them, but... Tch. Yeah, you get, out hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get your own idea. I see one guy <laughs> at the gas station, he's wearing a shirt. Or a sweater from another shop, and mm -hmm. it's got like the same placement, the same logos, like, like the, the same, even the arm hit too, and everything. I like, think it didn't have the arm hit, but okay. it, like the same layout. Yeah. You know, and I was like looking at, it, I was like, oh man, that's good. Yeah. What, what are you guys doing, man? So, so, so you, you got your own thing. That's why you got to trademark it and then send them a well, system. It, it was just the design. Yeah. yeah. Like this, like the design, but yeah, they took it, and then another shop did it, and I'm looking at that guy. Yeah, all, right. I, I, all I designed I didn't was have, uh, yeah. the yeah. lettering on the American Dream, and then the rest is all like you know regular font. Now, granted, it doesn't have that that um, how would I say? If, if like, they were to try to find this font, it's not available because I had hand drawn this. Yeah, it didn't have that like finesse. Yeah, right. Like that 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 Southern California like skate scene finesse. Yeah, it didn't <laughs> have that, and I know that's what they were trying to go for, but like just the placement the. It just wasn't flowing. Isn't that but the cool I, thing though about skateboarding? Like I designed these shirts too, but but we placed the the, the hits like skateboarding because that's yeah. what we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now some people are going, "Wow, dude, that's like, that's that looks like it's supposed to be there." Of course, that's how that's how yeah, that's how we did it. That's how we do it. <laughs> they just didn't. Yeah, they don't have the finesse, but it, it's like this tire shop somewhere down all valley. They use the Thrasher lettering. And I was looking at them like, these guys literally sat there and copied exactly. the Thrasher lettering exactly. just for the tire shop. It's a copy and paste kind of, you know, environment, man. But we, we did that as skaters, though, didn't we? Back in the day, we always used to like to use, like, maybe something that looked like Burger King, but it'll say something different. Sure, sure. Right? We'd always, you know. Well, it's a, it's like that a, was a thing back then because maybe because Rocco would be the always, like, kind of like. I'll just take that and use it. Right, right. <laughs> well, it's like the, 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 the Costins, when they came out, the red and white ones, they were a ripoff of the Jordans. Oh. They, they, they made a knockoff version of Jordans, but for yeah. S. for S. Yeah. He was a big a basketball fan, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I, remember, I can see that. I remember I when those Lakers uh, shoes came out. I yeah. I was like, hmm, that's different. But yeah. I don't think I ever bought a pair. See, and, and had we known then to buy those just because even if we didn't like them just that, for collection that could have been like oh you could have flipped them later on in life for like big dollars you know yeah, who knows yeah a lot of times i wish i collected back in the day because we can't eat those these reissues are not the same price of course but you know the next time i drive down which you know it's a long drive but yeah the next time i drive down i'll, I'll bring a tote <laughs> i'm not talking a little tote i got like Probably six or seven big old totes full of clothing, shoes, like early <laughs> days, man, like stuff. never worn. Man. Yeah, I'll bring it down. Yeah, dude. That's so rad, dude. That is, it, it was so much fun back then, man. It still is. Skateboarding still is yeah, fun. Yeah, I mean, it's free, man. You feel the freedom. Yes, sir. Going yes, sir. It, you know, it's, um, and I think it helped me with, like, business, like, opening up a shop to, to never, like, give up. And just keep going. Yeah. You know, and, and, and a lot of people, you know, it's it's probably yeah. the skateboarding that's what, what's done it. 
Do you learn how trying to fall to and get it back up? Over and over and over, trying to creep around over and over until you get it. it it's like it's like all right, that failed. Yeah. Let me do something different. Yeah. See if this works. Yeah, we keep yeah. doing something different until never. We never stop. Yeah. You know, and that and and it carries on to to the to rest life. of life. You know, yeah. like career wise and stuff like that. Always, you know, the people don't understand that they don't skate. They don't get it. No, yeah. it's not for them. They, they fall it's, once it's us, and they man. get hurt, and they don't. Then they don't know how to pick themselves up. And yeah, they, like it's a disaster. Yeah, you're like, like, dude. They do the soccer player. They get hurt once. It's, ah, the soccer ah, player. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but like some people, if they haven't experienced stuff like that, like pain and and, and you know, get having to get back up after you know and failing and being defeated, defeated, yeah, right? Defeated, after a long the... day and knowing that there's still another day. You can still go back yeah. out there and yeah. get it, you know, no matter what it is. You just got to keep trying. You just got to keep going, man. And it, and you'll know if the, whatever you're doing, if it's not for you, if it doesn't work, at least you tried and move on to the next or yeah. whatnot. You or know figure what I mean? out a way if you really like if really you're, do it. If that's what you want and it has to be done, then don't sit there and wait for it to happen because no one's going to do it for you. No. You gotta, just got to keep pushing. Mm-hmm. If there's something that you want, career-wise, whatever it is, if you keep pushing... Yeah. In the right direction or any direction, I guess, toward that goal. You're Mongo gonna get it. Right you're right gonna, you're get, gonna get there. Nah, you go Mongo. <laughs> you go Mongo. That way, you know, the way the world is, it's just that's Mongo. Just dude. be different. Yeah, yeah right? There's nothing wrong with Mongo. There's, day, there's days I yeah. go to the park and I'm like, today's gonna be a Mongo day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... My legs are a little sore, so fuck this. <laughs> right, that's, that's how I learned to push with both legs because I, would, I wouldn't walk up hills when I was a skater. I would skate up them so I would switch back and forth. Do, do, do. Nothing beats bombing telegraph right here, right? Ooh. People throwing shit at us when we're skating down the street. Yeah, it's happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always a soda or like something stupid being thrown at us. Or I, don't know, I think I missed that era of the skating. <laughs> I mean, we were like, yeah, kind of shunned back in the day a little bit. like, And then and then being a 20-year-old later, you're like, really? Like, why are you still doing that? And now, it's it's so popular nowadays, so it's like everybody's having kids, their kids skate, you know? So yeah. now it's always like... It's accepted. It's, it's more accepted. It's more, yeah. I mean, well, now, if you're, if you're not pro by the time you're three, you ain't making it in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to catch you a check today. Yeah. yeah. yeah don't, but, don't, don't skate to be a pro. Skate for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. If it if, if pro is in, in your future down the line, handle it. Well, well, we also don't know, like, I don't know, like, the pressure those guys are under. Yeah. Right? To perform, you know, and the lifestyle that's thrown at them. Yeah. You know, I don't know any of that. Mm-hmm. You know, and there's a lot that probably goes on that we don't know about. For right. sure. Yeah, it's like, you know, that, I oh, wonder yeah. if that's why a lot of guys quit because, you know, the pressure just gets going. I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of interviews and stories about, like, Dude, being pro, then they'll say that you know they'll be like, "Oh, I quit because you know it's just too demanding. I had to come in every week. I had to be handing in this much sure. footage, sure. this much sure. clips." It takes oh a yeah, money, man. Oh yeah, and probably like, oh, your social media presence is a little low this week or this month that your numbers are down. Um, what? Yeah. You know, like I I got injured. I can't be outside. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, you're not doing any of your photo shoot or whatever the case is. Well, you know, it's like, like the, it's like the whole DC thing. They kicked off most of the whole yeah. entire team because most of them didn't want to have social media presence. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, no, nowadays, it's all about your social... It's all about, it's all about the Benjamins, man. Yeah. It's all about the money, the, man. The money's what pays the bills. How many followers bills. you got? Yep, money's what pays the bills. I mean, those trips to Europe and all that other stuff ain't cheap. Oh, no. <laughs> Especially when they're out there partying, breaking windows and stuff. Yeah. You know, it ain't cheap, man. <laughs> that shit's going to cost. The company's yeah. paying for it. They're yeah. not going to expect more from you. You want to break windows? You better skate harder. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get it on film. Yeah. Speaking, yeah. Window, Speaking yeah. of like Europe, uh, did you ever ever have any dream spot you wanted to skate? Um, I think the old EMB. Oh, the for sure, EMB. man. And I remember I went to uh, Embarcadero. Yeah, I went there, but it was after they they remodeled it and did mm. the new thing. I've never once been there. Yeah, Pier Three. I went to. I didn't skate. I went up there. So Marcus, rest in peace, Marcus. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, he called me, and I think I was here. I was in your room when he called, and I, I said, uh, "He says, um, so hey, we had the studio back right then." Nah, nah. <laughs> no, he says, "Hey, uh, he said, you should uh, drive up here and go see Slayer. Slayer was playing at the at the Warfield, and it was that live taping of Slayer. Yeah, was, right. Mm-hmm. When they, it was a live taping. So hey, you should drive up here and go see Slayer with me. So he lived up there because he was in the Navy. 
Yeah. And I was like, you know what? He's like, hey, my, my parents will pick you up. I was like, all right. So here I am. I got weed on me. And going to the naval base with weed on me. And I'm like, getting nervous. You know? And then we, oh, went, yeah. we went and saw Slayer. And then the next day, we went down to EMB. And it was all knobbed up. And Damn. The whole EMB was like done. But I did see the Hubba. Yeah. And, you know? And it was all Like the Gons up. Gap? Do they have that still? I didn't see that. No? No. But the Hubba Hideout? Yeah, I did see that, Ooh. and I saw the triple set that was in like um, around the corner from that that Carol Ollie, and it was not. I thought it, on camera it didn't look too big, but when you step up to it, it's like, oh man, everything's different on yeah, this real life. Pretty, this guy's not a thing. Wow, dude, that is that is nuts, dude. Yeah, because the Hubble Hideout was that pretty big as well. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. no. It's not amateur hour up there, man. It's like, <laughs> you gotta get up there and, and handle it. That is nuts, dude. I would love to go do some skate tourism. I know Peralta recently went out there as well. Yeah, I was out in uh, you went SF. To I, we, we hit, uh, what, what's that one with the with the ledges and by the pier? Yeah. That's, that's in Barcadero? Pier 3, I think. Pier 3. Pier 3? Oh, the mani pad that they have? Yeah, it's like mani pad, ledges, and then they yeah. have the, the the metal on top of it and mm-hmm. some dudes going to the top. Yeah. Okay, then I went there, did uh, the mani pad on the pier, down by the wharf and all that. Yeah. That's I hit cool. the Chinatown Banks. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I wanted to check that spot out. Dude, Chinatown Banks. I heard it's rough. Dude, I tried rolling up it. I, I ran up to it, rolled it, and instead of going up, I just chipped my nose into the wall. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I was sitting there and I was like, how the hell did T-Funk all over a whole bench? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's what I, I'd like to see. Yeah. Go check out. You know, it's only a six hour drive, man. It's not too oh, bad. That's it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, coming from Washington, yeah. No, no, no. See, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, but when you drive from Washington to here, that's a longer drive. How long does it take? Like, if you were to make a straight shot with no stops, or like twenty hours, twenty hour drive. Yeah. You got the wife and kids. Yeah, you're you're taking a day or two, right? We want to stay in a hotel. Well, you want to sightsee and stop and we get. We want to stay in a hotel. Beef jerky let's and get, stuff uh, like that. Let's stop and get crispinos. Let's get this and that. Let's get. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes all the time. It's like, and, all right. yeah, I, it, like me, I'm, I'm the type of person. I just want to get to A and B and let's just get there. But uh, yeah, but it, it's fun. It's, yeah, yeah. And then no, no, when you're stuff, traveling with the fam, you know, everybody, you know, you gotta take the bathroom breaks. You gotta do all that stuff. Oh no, I make them wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Nah, no, I just blast right through the the, the rest stop. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, I, 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 I like a. I, I took the train up, <laughs> and I'm like, I think so I do it. I, I do it again because, yeah. not only was I taking my own drinks on the train. I was drinking from the train, yeah. and then I was like, and then they got a bathroom. Yeah. Uh, the bathroom was there and never stopped. The train never stops. Right. Yeah. You don't have to worry. And you could get up and walk around, not yeah. like a plane where you have to stay in your seat at certain moments, you know? When I, when I was up there, when I was on the train, I had my Game Boy the whole time. I bought a, I bought a retro Game Boy, bought Pokemon, and I was just playing the whole way up. The train would be fun, because it's yeah. like, that, like you said, you just sit there and you can see so much different stuff. Yeah, there's like different carts. You don't have to stay in your seat. Like, I remember... Well, when I was traveling on train, they actually have a smoking cart, right, where you could go in and smoke. Mm. And uh, but these chairs face like out big windows. Yeah, so it's like you could, cigarettes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could see the whole like scenery and uh, while you're traveling. But you know, because the other seats you're you're sitting forward with the, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I mean, I'll tell you this: from L.A. to about like mid Cali. You're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of tweakers in the back in the back train tracks. Oh yeah. And then and you don't get you don't get the nice views till you get a little bit past like Modesto and all that. I remember the first time I left the state. I took a damn greyhound. Oh yeah. Imagine this. Imagine this. So I, I took a greyhound gray. all the way up to to Portland, and then we're like halfway into the trip, and then the guy's like standing there, or he stops on the side of the freeway, and then he turns around and he goes 300 miles back to because he missed the freeway. Oh so my that god. Portland trip took 28 hours. Oh my god, the guy didn't know where he was going. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> damn. I had like, I had a half ounce of weed in my shoe. Oh, here we go. Yeah, and I'm like, hadn't smoked, you know, the whole time. I was like, man, if I could just take a rip right now. You know, but. <laughs> and, and, and all the Greyhound sucks, because when I was going up, I went halfway up to Santa Barbara, and then we had to transfer on to Greyhound to get a San, to, to San Fran. Yeah. The Greyhound, I'm sitting there, and I'm like this. Yeah. You're just squ- oh, yeah. you're, you're squished up like this, and then you finally get a seat to yourself, and here comes the next stop, and someone just 100 other seats open, yeah. and they see that one next to you. Here, let me plot myself right here. You look pretty comfortable. I'm going to sit next to you. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, really? There's like 100 other seats around. Yeah. I got footage from that, too. 
that was pretty wild. That, that, that trip was pretty wild. I, yeah. But then it's like once you leave past the grapevine, it's like there's really nothing. Yeah. Until right. you hit uh, Sacramento. It's yeah. Something. That's when the air starts getting a little cleaner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when I was like, man, where's all the buildings in? You know, the first time you actually leave LA, it's like, like man, there's like really nothing out here. Yeah, yeah. It's really just and all isn't, it, isn't it so funny how they say that we have too many people in this world when there's so much space out there that they there's no, so it's much, too many people crammed in one area. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So like, they don't want people to be able to farm themselves and feed themselves and get free electricity. Nah. No, no, it's all about the dollars, man. They want you stacked up on top of each other like batteries. They want you control. Yes, sir. Oh, control. Yeah. But, uh, Herb mentality. Here we go yeah. with the, the more conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Where the Locals Skate Conspiracy yeah, yeah, Hour. Yeah. We're yes, going to switch sir. it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, back in the day, if you could have received a, a box from a company, who who would you want to send you a new product? Probably label. Black label? Yeah, probably black label. Yeah. Black label was hash. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. That was more my, more my thing. It was black label. Plan B was cool. It was like. That was a that was an error we we were a part yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, right? Plan B and then the Blind Era. You know they, they always had the, there was some really good stuff, especially when you go to Spectrum. Mm-hmm. And remember at Spectrum they used to sell the Blind and the Plan B pants and they're already cut and shredded at the bottom, but man they were like sixty five bucks a pair. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll stick with the uh, the old Roglins from the indoor swap meet. <laughs> remember those? I remember those some, cheap pants for fifteen bucks. At the I remember some Chapter Seven pants you had. Yeah, I bought those in Downey at some skate shop you in Downey. Remember, you remember I can't remember the name. Was it Jacks? No. That's so crazy. The Spectrum was in La Mirada, and it's no longer there no more. So, no, it's yeah. not there anymore. Those are those were back in the day, man. It's an old skate shop. Remember they sold us a bootleg copy of Virtual Reality for ten bucks. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's so like, he's like, he looks around, he's like, how much you got? I'm like, I got 10. And he pulls out a, a recorded copy that they dug and he just throws it to me. And then we, that we, is we, 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 we came back, we watched it and we were like, oh, what? <laughs> we got to up our game a little bit. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Once I saw, like, again, virtual reality was like a game changer because the skateboarding was progressing so fast, you know, yeah. we're, I'm barely learning, okay, I gotta learn Switch now, I'm like, what? Yeah. Everybody went from regular to regular skating to Switch skating, and I'm like, okay, now we gotta do that, so okay, let's practice both at the same time, so we can learn them both at the same time, but still, it was, it was, and then fast forward again, when my brother and everybody started skating, and I saw Minik Mahdi and, you know, mm-hmm. Sorry, oh my God, yeah. Uh, that's like I said, never gonna be pro. See, so. that, that's where I came in. Sorry, I came in with Zari, Sorry, Zero Die to Live. Yeah. And then, well, I was watching Zero Die to Live every day before I left my house. Every single day, I'm watching them, watching them chop rails, big gaps. And I was like, yep. that's my goal today. Jump yeah. off the biggest thing I can find. <laughs> Man, dude. Yeah. But, the tape. But, die to live. But yeah, that's, that's what I had around VHS, course. too. Yeah. There were great big influences on us, man. I need to buy that box set, though. With everything from Misled Youth, Thrill of It All. Is it this one right here? No, they, they brought out another one oh, where okay. it goes all the way to their to their newest videos. Oh, hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, shout out to Potato. He, he had me that one day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was at an active when Zero came up and was having a signing or they were, turning, they were doing something. Maybe was it somebody pro? Was it that day I got that Jamie Thomas Leave a Faith board sign? I think it was. Did they, or... It could have been, because I went to a few of them. There was one where they turned uh, Chris Weimer pro. I was at that one. And then there's another one, I think, where they're, where, where you got your board signed. Yeah. Hmm. And I remember being, like, in the back of the line, and and none of them had a white marker, and, uh, and all the boards are black. So, yeah. And then, anybody in line have a white marker? I'm like, they're like, you... You get front of the line. I'm like, straight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> was it a Mean Streak? No, never Mean Streaks. Remember the Mean Streaks, the mean streaks back in the Ooh, day? At the, at the swap yeah, meet? those are Tagger days. All right. Those are the twist ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the twist ones. Man. Take them out. Yep. And then with, the, with the, like a with the straight floss, yeah, and cut them in half to, 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 to make the colors. It, yeah, you, and then you just spin it and you get all the colors yeah. while you're writing. Oh, yep. Man. And then was, some people try to get too creative where they put four colors in, and I'm like, ah, it's too much. But yeah, the two is like... I bought my daughter a tagging pen one time. 
crank. Yeah. You got a bone crank. Fill those fat pins. Yeah. yeah. Mom, why don't you get good at this? <laughs> <laughs> show your creative side. You make, you know. Go right on your walls in your yeah, room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go tag up the school. Go tag up. Show, the show your California roots. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, don't worry. When the cops bring you, I'm gonna pretend to be yeah. mad, but yeah. I'm not mad yeah. at you. But right, so she got pulled over when I was there, Friday. She was, she came home crying because she's always watching those videos of people getting shot. Oh, Why are you guys just see. run that way? <laughs> she's, I need a group hug, and she's crying. We're laughing. Ah, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah. So, dude, shout out to Black Label though. That would that would have been cool to see you get a box from them. Yeah. So in that Black Label, like that contest, that Carson contest. So there, there was a tattoo booth, and they were giving away like piercings and free coupons for tattoos, and and someone won one, and it was like a nipple piercing. Yeah. And it, I'm positive it was John Lucero that that stepped up to the plate and got it done. Oh really? And yeah, everyone's like John, John, John. You know, I'll tell him, and then he. He goes and sits down, and they straight did it. And everyone's like cheering him on. And he's screaming. He's like, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> they put a little hoop in there for him. <laughs> uh, maybe if I bump into him, I'll ask him that question. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if he still has it. <laughs> and then in all these years, <laughs> skate he's goes up to like, him. He's like, <laughs> skate <laughs> goes up to him. He's like, "You mean this?" He's like, "This." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His little cat bell down there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that is cool, dude. Dude, there's so many memories, so many good times, dude. But, man, let's get into uh, hobbies off the board. What do you do? What, what are you doing off the skateboard? Off the skateboard, I just uh, a lot of automotive work. A lot of automotive yeah, work. Yeah, automotive work. I yeah. Uh, Cause you own your own automotive yeah, repair yeah, shop. Going on, going on ten years. In Washington, Benton. Benton City. Benton City. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out there. It's, yeah. it's, it's clean air, man. Like the snow and everything's chill. The the little skate park you had out there is chill. Yeah, it's chill. You, you, yeah. you could move everything like around a little bit, you know? Yeah. You know what's funny is that's the reason I found out about that shop and the town was that skate park. Oh. Because I was going on the skate park list online and I was like, oh man, they got a park down, down in Benton City. So me and Thomas and uh, the girls cruised out there. And then I saw the shop and it was always closed. And uh, <clears throat> when I came to the time to do do my own thing when I got tired of working for other people. Um, I looked at all these shops and I only had a thousand bucks to open the shop. Wow. Yeah, that's all I had. And uh, I went, someone on Craigslist called me because I had an ad on Craigslist doing side work. And he says, hey, we need a mechanic out here in Benton City. And I was like, ah, oh, Benton City. And I talked to some other guys that I knew that were in the industry and they're like, ah, oh, you ain't gonna make no money out there. You know, don't go out there. But I went out there and the guy's like, He's like, oh, yeah, he's, I remember he used to work at, you know, another shop. I mm-hmm. said, yeah. And he's like, you serious? And I go, yeah. And he's like, all right. And he told me, like, I think it was like 600 a month to start. And I only had a grand. That's all yeah. I had is a grand. So I had to use the grand for the first month, the internet, you know, to get that turned on, the lights turned on. Right. And he throws me the keys. So I'll clean down in a week. Like, grab the keys like that. And it was, that's it. Damn. And it started from there, 2014. Wow. And yeah, that was... When did you get the sign made and put up? Was that a big? That's got to be a big deal. Huh? Like, yeah, well, I had to do a couple of jobs and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that came like three months later. Three months later. Yeah. But still, you're like, Shh, it's official. Well, I had to come. Well, I had to overcome, <laughs> Been official. I had to overcome the stigma because that guy, the previous owner, from you know, from what I heard, he did like some shady stuff. Right. So I had to overcome that. Right, right, right. And people had to realize, okay, there's a new guy in there. And with the name change. That really is going to help too, right? Because then yeah. that, it'll show that it's a new uh, yeah. under new management or new, uh, new ownership. ownership. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was a lot. It was. It wasn't easy. It took time to, to yeah. get it, it, earn it people's trust. I'm it sure. It was not easy. Yeah, you know. but now you're booming, right? You're all, you're always busy. I'm always busy. I'm as busy as I want to be. Right. I don't. I don't want to do too, over too much. I yeah. don't like. To, I don't like all the stress and the pressure anymore. And it takes a lot out of you when you're constantly grinding. Yeah. And, you know, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. People think, oh yeah, he's got all these cars out there, but I'm fronting the money for the parts. Right. In addition to that, I got to deal with the phone calls. Right. People coming in, interrupting you, and getting the car done in a timely manner. That's right. my biggest drawback is being able to get it done. But there's some days I get interrupted maybe five to ten times a day. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Round two. Round two. But uh, yeah, it'll be cool. Like I wonder, uh, like. It, It'd be cool for you to talk to a friend of ours, Chris. 
Chris Valdez. He's oh, yeah. also uh, he's in a he has his own automotive shop as well in La Habra. Yeah. And yet, luckily for him, he has employees. He's able to have, and he's racing cars. Um, uh, for DRS, well, that's his company. So now he didn't have a driver, so he had to step up and actually get in the driver's seat. Yeah, yeah. And actually, it's not an race, easy thing. Yeah, it's, you know, to, to do your own thing is uh, it's not easy. No, I'm sure. There's a lot. There's a, there's lot, a lot of work to it, man. There's a lot of dedication. You know, and um, you got to be able to put up with people's. <laughs> criticism you know people running their mouth oh. or you know you, you, Someone, can't, you can't just meet them yeah you can't just meet them in the street you know knock them out but that's what you want to do yeah <laughs> you know, that's what you want to do. no i get it like you got a lot to lose i had well, we had a, a really shady customer one time at the auto glass company where they just knew how to get their money back for some like they were like, oh, the windshield is making noise, you know, it's got an air leak. Okay, cool. So they yeah. go out, repair it. They don't hear no air noise or whatever. And then they come back. Oh, no, it's still, we still hear it and this and that. Okay, replace the glass. Because mm-hmm. what if there's a defect in the glass? So they sure. do, 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 boom, comes back. Nope, still problems. Oh, it's this and that. And then finally kept, they just said, just give her back her money and just get rid of her. Yep. And that was the whole thing because she just became just too much of a headache yeah. to the company. Yeah. That she can't, she just ended up with her money back, and yeah. and, and it was all good. Guys. She never called back again. Like we're like, and then we found out later on that someone else in the same complex did work for her, and they did the same thing, and they ended up giving her money back. <laughs> like yeah, it's so yeah. crazy, dude. How these people finagle and and have time. Yeah, I usually don't deal with a whole lot of that. That's good. And, you know, a lot of the times it's the people are. Really, really cool. That's good. You know, yeah, I really, I mean, now some of them, <laughs> I got a couple of people that come in and joke around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I drove by your shop and my radio stopped working. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to slap the shit out of you. So like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're like, and, and then we my joke blinker around. fluid is low. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, we joke around. It's, it's, it's good. I've met a lot of good, a lot of good people up there. That's cool. You know, the, the, the town really, really took me in and, um, I mean, helped me get to where I am today. That's you know? cool. Yeah. You know, they, yeah, at first it was like, oh, we got a Californian coming in here. Yeah. You know, they don't like that. You know, how are you going to mix with, you know, this small town? You know, you're, right. you're definitely a skateboarder. You know? A lot of people, because like, you know, they like, they, they have it a certain way and they, they don't want someone coming in and changing yeah. anything. You know? One guy came in, this was after I was in it for like three years. He said, well, what do you think people are thinking? And he's looking at me serious. And I go, well, what does it matter? They're thinking. I'm not ripping anybody off. I'm doing a good job for everybody. Yeah. Well, we got this Californian coming in, making it look easy. And, you know, and everyone else out here, you know, they struggle. So, what do you want me to do, man? You know, I'm doing my thing. Yeah. It's like they expect you to give them the secret of life. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I don't. Work your ass off. Yeah. It's like, what did you That's the secret, is working your ass off. Yeah, you didn't bring nothing special from California that makes your business better than anybody else's. There's no California magic fairy dust. Right, right, right. You brought your skater mentality with you, that's what you did. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's plain and simple. You grew up poor, so you you either got to do something to to keep surviving. Yeah. And you had skating, which taught you to never give up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I was really fascinated early on with, with cars and. Yeah. And I struggled in automotive class in high school. That's crazy. Yeah, I struggled, but I never quit. That's good. I never gave up. I always found... You didn't have the internet back then. Right. You know, you didn't have the internet, so you really had to, like, search for what you wanted. Right. You had to really look at books and everything. And we're doing the shift kit in the up, you know, and you're like... Oh, yeah. And Richard's like, okay, so we're on a piece of paper. Yeah. And the shift came in at my uncle's house. Yeah. And, and I'm like, like what's it? This, this little ball bearing has to go in there? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, what? We're going to take this out, drill this plate, and then we're going to, it's going to go faster? And Richard's like, all, all right, right. Man, all right, cool, let's go. <laughs> Next thing you know, boom, boom. It's like, oh, all right. That was fun. Yeah. That was 75 cents. There goes 75 cents. <laughs> <laughs> So it sounds like Lisa when he's sitting there watching me put it, fix my car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Really? That does that? Yeah. And this yeah. does that? I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, he's like, how do you find... Then he goes, how do you learn this? I'm like, YouTube University. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube yeah. certified. <laughs> I got my degree at YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got to admit, man, I'm, I'm a, 
I've learned a lot of things from you too. Oh, I have well. to. I have to because I'm not. You know? Bob, I'm not Bob the Builder. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm yeah, not, I'm not that guy. And I'm not the guy willing to take something apart and figure it out. Like, if somebody's already done that for me, let me go and watch what they did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like I, I changed it like sinks. You know, like you know, you got a leaky sink or something. So long. Like I had a leaky faucet. I'm like, finally, it just go to YouTube. It's like, all right. It looks pretty simple. Go to the Home Depot, buy a new one, install. I had a leaky faucet for I don't know how long, and it took me like a half hour to replace it. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> so you just gotta get in it, man. You just gotta like. Yeah, get in man. It I was like... so embarrassed about that. I was like, man. It's like, all right. Well, this is what it takes, man. You, you, gotta, you gotta get your hands dirty in order to get it done. You know? Now the, the the funny ones are where you're like, you say that you're working on, it, then you get frustrated. Then you, you're done for the day, and then you come back the next day, and you're like, fuck, it was that easy. Yeah. yeah. All it was was I had to step away for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Like, if yeah. I get frustrated on a job, then I do. Um, I try not to get, like, let it get to me, but I just, yeah. I'll go, shit, let's go get it. I won't get four tacos, I'll get six of the butters. And, and I'll just <laughs> chow them down, and then I'll get back to it, and I'm like, all right. Yeah, hey. You know what? That could go, like, again, I, I always got to bring it back to skateboarding. Like, if I'm struggling on a trick... I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I'm going to move on to something else and, like, hopefully get my confidence back up, yeah, land yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, We're human. Come back to it and see, see what I need to do. And, like, yesterday, like, I didn't get everything I wanted at La Habra. It's been so long since I got to skate that park, and and, and it's not as smooth as other parks. So yeah. you really got to, like, use your legs and pump around. And I was like, man, I so I had to relearn all the little transition areas I used to take and, and like I, I didn't get my heel flip. I didn't get, but I did get like you know I got that front board on that little yeah. ra- up up the little bank, tap the little rail and boom. And then I tried to then I tried to do a, a shove out and that wasn't gonna work that day. So it was only <laughs> one try on that one. I was like nah, I almost slipped out. But yeah, man, it was good times, dude. So yeah, and I hadn't been on a board since probably summer. Exactly. So I was feeling it. I was like, dude, my back is killing me right now. <laughs> you know, it's not fun to skate when it's like 10 degrees outside or 20 degrees that sucks yeah in Benton, uh, yeah, Benton City yeah. right? it's pretty cold and it's pretty cold out there snows and everything so I'm over here complaining about 50 oh we do it's freezing yeah, I know. I'm cold right now I want a jacket but I want to sport this shirt so I'm just chill you're here man sure. no we can't <laughs> we'll, we'll, blow, we'll blow out the yeah the, 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 studios, the, the studio, studio's a little you know an age so that's all good that's all good you know so but yeah it's all good man. yeah the Dude. weather is the biggest thing to adjust to when you move out of southern california mm-hmm. i've heard i remember i moved out and i had a job and i was driving and it said eight degrees mm. and i'm like does that say eight degrees it looks like we had a little camera malfunction after talking about the power the government the government. The government. <laughs> the government. Like I said, man, they're trying to shut us down up in here. Now nah, we're all good. Uh, and I want to get back to it. We're almost done in here. We, we got into the hobbies. But what about for fun? What, what do you guys do? Do you take the family out? Like, I know I know your plan is to go to the beach, right, when you get back? Yeah, we're going to head up the beach. Um, we usually just, uh, like, my thing, I'll, I'll work my ass off during the week. And the weekends are strictly for like the family that, that that's right that's it i, I make that like a pro even if we don't do anything even if we just like chill out watch movies and and you know that's still family time that's still you know we're chilling out i like to take them out to lunch you know on the weekends you know just you know let's go do something because i don't i don't want the shop to control me like right. it did for the first like five six years because mm-hmm. my kids only got bigger you know yeah. i don't get that time back when they're little so that's true i try to prioritize the weekends for them and just hang out and just go do something. Go out to eat, you know. Go walk around somewhere and, um, you know, go cruise the Honda around and just have fun. Yeah. And next time you come back, when do you plan on coming back? Are you going to uh, be warmer so we can go to Venice again? I think. Well, I'll talk to my brother later, but um, when he's getting married, I think we're going to come back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying that now, so I'm letting everybody know. Oh, all right. I don't know what month it is, but I'll find out tonight. I'll find out. I guess we're going to dinner at five, so I'll find out more. Okay, okay. But now that I know flying is only two hundred bucks a head, that's cheaper than gas. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah, you got here in no time. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't flown in a long time here. You always drive, right? Always drive. Yeah. But you but, know, when you get the budget tickets, 
kind of like this. Yeah. yeah. That one person reclines all the way yeah, back. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, man, this is the $186 ticket. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then you said they they charged you to bring your, your skateboard? Yeah, so they charged me 65 bucks to bring my board on the plane. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, God. I'm looking at her. I could have shipped that from FedEx for like maybe 20 She just kind of laughed. Well, you want to take it or not? Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I need to take it. I think I remember Remember, I was telling you there was some kind of loophole or something. I think I remember the guy breaking this board in half. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for Spirit Airlines. Really? Was it? Yeah, there's a little skit he did. Like, they didn't let him take his board on Spirit Airlines. So he's all, he snaps his board. He's all, here, now it fits in your thing. Oh, and, and he, okay. oh man. <laughs> That's what I was remembering. Yeah, he, goes, he sticks in the little thing that says if it fits in here, it can yeah. go on. So yeah. he gets it in there. So now it fits, and then he's able to put it on his carry-on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I'm like, 65 bucks? This thing... For, That's how they get you. Hey, for sixty five bucks, is worth breaking your board to go buy a new. You're gonna pay that for a new deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you're that's kind of right. Huh? That's true. You know, but I was well, like, nah. Or you're better yeah. off just taking your trucks off, throwing them in your luggage. I'm gonna ship it back. Are you gonna yeah, ship it? I'm back? gonna ship it back. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna pay that sixty five bucks. Okay, so that wasn't a round trip sixty five. No, it was one way sixty five, man. Oh, them bastards. So that comes out like almost one hundred thirty round know, trip, like one twelve, one twenty. 130. 130? Okay. Got to get the math right. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. The five in there. Damn. Threw me off. (laughs) It's always that nickel bag. (laughs) (laughs) All right, dude. All right. Well, anything that you want to bring up that we haven't brought up on the show? Uh, No, I can't really think of a whole lot. I mean, what do you want to hear? Any stories from back in the day? I mean, we had a lot of good times, though. I mean, I I know that. Like I said, you you're the guy that got me on the skateboard the first, second, probably third time, you know. But yeah. uh, now you created a monster, <laughs> so I really dove into the skate world and uh, and, and yeah, I, this time you took off with it, man. Yeah, I mean yeah, that's you good, know, man. With the, with the branding myself, and then now we're doing the show, which is incredible t- to me because, I mean, we do it every weekend pretty much. Uh, you know, we, we sometimes we get a day off, but. Uh, We've been really consistent. This is episode sixty six. So proud of you, man! Wow, proud of you guys. Been, you guys are doing year, it. Man. You guys are doing it. You're sticking with it. Uh, yeah, wow, that's that's that says a lot, right you know, there. And sometimes mornings are hard. You know, you get up and you're sure. like, "Do I have to?" Yeah, sure, man, sure. Yeah. Then, you, then you think Lee of Stowe, then you think of the you? long run things, and you're just like, ah, in the long you run. Know, yeah, it. it's like uh, me waking up and I'm thinking in my head, "Oh man, I gotta do this and that, and this and that." And I'm like, "Do I want to go? No, I'll go." And I know once I get to the shop, like I walk to work, and then once I get to the shop, it, all that just kind of fizzles away because I, oh, yeah. I get in my routine. You know, I smell the grease in there, and it's like, all right, let's let's get and it. And then your day goes by nice, right? Quick, like, yeah. I, I feel like, like the days of if I'm feeling lazy, you know, if or hungover or whatnot, and you you call out of work, and then you figure out like you don't do nothing the rest of the day anyway. You're just kind of lounging, and you're like kind of probably been better off if i just went to work yeah you yeah. know what i mean and, yeah. and your day would have been by just gone quick as hell it goes fast yeah as long it as you stay fast. busy and productive you know and but man it, it we I, i'm sure peralta and me uh, it, it, he's busy you know he works a lot of hours at his job yeah. you know so he's always constantly call, on call and stuff is like oh, that, so I couldn't do that. Yeah, I'm on, on call twenty four seven. Yeah, I couldn't do that. So that's a that's a I, yeah. I commend him for that, you know, and I and I thank him for actually taking his time to come out yeah, here on Sundays yeah. and, and and be part of the show and do the show and help us out. And like I said, there's some days where I'm like, I work so much, I'm like, can I just get one day to myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. I just, you know I just want one day. We need those days. Yeah. to yeah. ourselves. We need that yeah. time to just kind of like. Wine, man. You gotta so do your thing, man. I know yeah. you. Are, yeah. So well, even even pretty with soon this... we gotta start doing two episodes a day again, so yeah. we can get ahead again. Well, even even with the the project that I'm working on right now with the skate video, mm-hmm. dude, di- I'm dealing with so many personalities, and I'm just like, dude, yeah, it's hard. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to talk one dude into doing something because he doesn't want to. Yeah. The other dude's just chilling. And he's not feeling it that day. I'm just trying to get him to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like it, having employees, man. But yeah. you know, it, I mean, as long as if, if they're out there, if if they're not skating, at least be a hype man. Yeah, you know, at least you know. Uh, I mean, they all come through. They 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 hype each other up. Yeah, that's cool. So, I'm just but like, it's cool. the patience that you have to have. Yeah. Oh yeah. To deal with all that, or, or or one of them's getting mad, and you're just like, relax, relax, the, chill out. The more you get mad, the less you're gonna land. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, I like that. All right. Yeah. The more you get mad, the less you get mad. That sounds yeah. good. It's a good one, man. Yeah, I was telling them, like, Fusa. <laughs> Go over there, take a deep breath. Or, like, they'll, get, they'll start rushing, and I'm just like, Fusa. I'm the cameraman, dude. I'm up here for a reason. Yeah. You got all the time in the world. Go stay, take a step back, relax yourself, and get yourself in the right mindset. Right, 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 yeah, right. A lot right. of people, you know, they feel bad that they're taking the cameraman's time, but at the same time, he's in it with you just as much as you're trying the tricks. So. Yeah. Well, I started telling one of the homies because he'd always be a, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was like, if you tell me I'm sorry one more time, I'm really not going to film you. <laughs> so just shut up, go up there, yeah. and do your thing. I'm, I'm, it. I'm, in it, I'm in it for the long run with you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, you know, it's like I said, the, like we said earlier, the pressure on some of the pros that, yeah. I mean, yeah, man. That, that's, 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 I, I know that feeling and it, it really sucks. Yeah. Right. You know, when you have to constantly have that pressure to perform or, or you know, meet demand. Yeah. It's not, it's not something that a lot of people can deal with. No, you know? for sure. No, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. Cause some of these dudes are all like, oh, I'm falling behind because one dude's racking up more clips than the other. And the other, and the, guy, the other guy's like, I only have like two clips. I'm like, that could dude, be a motivation as well. Yeah. I just tell them like, look, the video just started. We have a two year deadline. Yeah. It's going to be like this one day. You're going to get more clips. Sure. Than this dude. It's going to fluctuate. We all have good. good days. We all have bad days. Yeah. yeah. Everybody does. Don't start worrying until you're like, if you ain't got nothing and you got a few months left. Ooh. Yeah. That, 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 now you start. That, that'd, be, that'd be me right there. <laughs> last minute. Oh, your homework project's due the next day. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get it now. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I feel like that's where I'm going to end up with my part since I'm always filming. Yeah. It's going to come down to the last, like, bite the bullet. I'm just yeah. going to be like, fuck, I'm just going to throw a bunch of shit out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, that's like, you know, being a mechanic and having a shop. I don't got time to fix my own car. I'm fixing everyone else's cars. So yeah. That's true. You know? And then when you come home, it's not like you want to do, you know. Yeah, when I get home, Dan, I'm, I'm, I'm raking... I'll be outside doing yard work, yeah. Rather than than doing fixing the car or yeah. fixing anything, yeah. I mean, I'll sit there and just rake leaves all damn day if I want to. <laughs> well, it's just better. It's just I'm more relaxed out there, you know. Right. But it's like that, that that one thing, you know. If you're a chef, you don't want, after cooking all day, you don't want to come here and mm-hmm. cook all day. After yeah, if you're a carpenter, you don't want to come home and be like, "Fuck, I got to deal with car- carpentry shit in my own house." Right, 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 right. right. You know, and the trades. When you get into the trades and you specialize in stuff, it's um. You don't want to do it for yourself. It's always when you do it for yourself, it's like, oh, man. Like for me, fixing my own car, I'm like, all right, I got to take that off. And I might as well do that while I'm here. And I might as well do that while I'm there. And then the project yeah. turns in from an yeah. hour to like five, six hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, but. But that's cool. At least, I mean, the the thing you can do is you, you can put it up on a lift, right? And just crank it out, which is cool. Like most of us are, you know, we got to work off the ground <laughs> you know i started when i started the shop i was in this little tiny like shed probably like the one you got out there mm-hmm. and i was in gravel fun yeah i was in gravel so i couldn't use really i could use a floor jack but i had a plywood out there yeah 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 you had to you know have it stable. I, had, I had some nazi neighbors that mm-hmm. anytime they anytime someone would come by they're out there you know running their mouths and shit so Crazy. it made it made starting the shop difficult but i told myself it was in the winter time it was like september october i said look by winter hits i have to have a shop i can't do I, i'm not gonna do this outside yeah. it's gonna get cold and then that yeah I opened up in november and i had the shop you know Damn. the way it worked out i mean because we were gonna leave we were gonna take off if i didn't get the shop going or we couldn't get you know our own thing going you know and a lot of the doors were closing because the bank wasn't i couldn't even get a bank account because mm. i didn't have a lot of capital you know and then i couldn't get a loan from sba to get it started and i'm taking all these classes with this with the city and to try to learn how to do like accounting which i knew a lot of that stuff already from previous experience but you know i just kept going that's it i just kept going and then it just it just, just opened up and then that was it yeah i mean i didn't have no big scanner or you know yeah. i had a little tiny ebay scanner that's how i started and yeah. i borrowed my daughter's laptop from school yeah to process my credit card payments <laughs> and get all the information i need like it's all that crazy, and stuff. right and then look at which where you're at now you got all the tools you need i mean that's, how it, starts, right? that's how it starts man that's like when i hear people and they're like you know you, when you when you do your own thing and you're doing good you get all those people that are like oh i could do what you do <laughs> i could do that i could do anything you could do you gotta start now buddy i say well we better get on it then man yeah you know what i mean stop sitting here and comparing yourself to me just do your thing, man. It's all about like, like the the like us. Once we started the podcast, you're never gonna do it unless you do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
We yeah. we started off the same way, man. One one little camera, dude. A little DSLR, sure. flood, floodlights. That's the way it goes, though. You I mean, if I mean? you want it, that's that's that's. Yep. You gotta you gotta make it work. Yeah. Man. And you just keep pushing, keep pushing. Next, you know, little by little, you know, you you got it. You, you'll get. You'll have what you need. Yeah. And you'll notice that hey, there's still more room to grow. Yeah. There's still things you can do. There's still like you know everything. Yeah, you figure it out along the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, you can make things easier, and you know, because yeah. it's like when when the shop thing was was like coming about, I always thought you had to go out and buy like the ten thousand dollar scanner to start, and you know the AC machine. And, and I worked with a guy. I was doing like big truck, like big truck work for a while, and they hired me to do like electrical and air conditioning, and that was it just to do like like wiring and air conditioning and then some drivability stuff. But the owner of that shop said, don't buy everything at once, man. Yeah. Buy it as you go. Yeah. Because I told him I was going to start my own thing and just an automotive. And he's like, nah, you just buy it as you go. You don't yeah. need to buy all this crap at one time. It's like as you need it, right? Yeah. yeah. You need it, if you yeah. have a job you need the tool for, then buy that tool. Yeah, because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to get into it. And then right off the bat, like some of these guys that get in, right when they get in the industry, they're just like 60 grand in tool debt or even right. more. And I didn't, I didn't have that capital. I didn't have that luxury. So yeah. I learned from that guy. That he just taught me, no, just buy as you go. Buy as you go. I and think I that's, just, that's what like pretty much we've been doing here. Yeah. 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 As long as you're consistent and you're constantly making those improvements, you know, to yourself, actually, right. and, and, and that drive, you're going to yeah. get it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to get it. And just kind of like learn how to block out all the bullshit, you know, people's comments and then online comments and all that stuff. It's like, I, I, I kind of tell people, just look at it yourself. You're gonna if you're gonna buy something, you're gonna tell yourself, "Am I really gonna put that to work, or am I just gonna use it once and then it's gonna sit there on the side?" Yeah. And, and if I go, I'm only gonna use it once and it's gonna sit outside, I'm like, I'm not even gonna buy it. Right. Right. Like, like with buying fisheye and camera gear and all this for the cameras, I'm like, I've come to you know, I spend three, four, five hundred bucks on the gear. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not bummed because I'm like, all right, cool. I'm yeah. Use yeah. It. But if I only use it once, I'm like, damn. Right. I really just wasted five hundred bucks and I only used it once. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've I've made mistakes buying equipment and other shit. And you you learn. I yeah. mean, you learn, and, and it's just that's just part of the process, you know. Right. Yeah. To see, like buying all the cameras, you're investing in what you guys want to do. Right. Yeah. That's the right. good thing. That's, that's the thing. A, and, and that's a, that, that's kind of a scary thing too because you're, you're investing in all this stuff and you you want to keep it going as well, right? You don't want, you want to stay consistent and everything. So it's like yeah, for you sure. Know, you're spending all this, you know, little by little. It's not all at once, like I said, but. You know, like I'm investing, I put a new table for the couch guys and, you know, pretty soon I, I want to be, you know, give, putting some new sofas as well. So that's in the future. Yeah. So, but it can't all happen at once, you know, there's other things that got to be taken care of first and then. Yeah. Some people out there just have little deeper, little. deeper pockets than we do. And that's, yeah. you know, that's And that's right. fine. That's fine. Yeah. You know, but. But I, I like, I like to keep it like. The way, like, I like to go slow and steady. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because somebody could set up a whole studio and then buy all that equipment and figure out, man, this is probably not for me. Mm-hmm. And now you got you all know, this gear. Yeah, and you just got all this gear. Massive you know amounts of I mean? credit so. card debt or whatever you got. But it does benefit the person like us because then we can buy it off them cheap. Because yep. we're trying yep. to get rid yep. of it on the, yep. on the that quick. Could, that could happen, too. That's that's another thing, though. Like, And especially, like, like I, you know, of course, thoughts like that kind of run through my head. Like, what would happen if, you know, one day we don't do this anymore? I'm sure I can get rid of the stuff, but I'm, you're not getting back what you paid for. Oh, of course, but you can't you look know. at it that way. You're, of course, but I mean, I mean, I mean yeah. if you get your use out of it, I look oh, at it, yeah. anything I get. No, cool. that's yeah. that's that's what I, you know, that's what I'm proud of that we're actually using all the equipment and it's it's actually, you know, weekly. Sure, sure. So man, it's that's, like that's, it is yeah. it, it is an investment and it's a good investment, especially for the show. But yeah, dude, uh, shout out to your business, man. Shout out to what you do. You yeah. Know? And then and, long... and earn, earning everybody's respect out there in Benton City and, and, and becoming part of the community. Yeah. Which is yeah. a big deal. That was. And uh... you, you're able to raise your family out there. And, and I've, like I said, I've visited as well, you know. It's good times. Yeah. Yeah. It's um... good times. It's been a long time, dude. Yeah. You know? Long time coming. Long since time. We've known each other, man. Since when, when I, I left. High school. Yeah. When I left LA was when. Or junior high, oh, high. Yeah. No, I, what was I in? I was in elementary still, right? And you guys were in junior high, you and Carlos. Probably. You were going to South Whittier still? Yeah, South Whittier. Yeah, we were waiting for the bus right here. <laughs> Damn. Let's tell the story. Go ahead. 
man, this guy would, <laughs> dude, he would call over in the morning, and if one, uh, like, George would answer the phone, <laughs> and he'd be like, if you guys are there, when I get there, I'm going to kick your fucking ass. <laughs> and we'd be like, oh, we'd hurry up and get to the bus stop before you showed up, man, we're taking off. <laughs> what a dick. And I was just joking. I was like, yeah, yeah. But we're scared of him because he had long hair and everything. And he wearing wore, Megadeth shirts, yeah, and Metallica shirts <laughs> yeah, back was, then, you know. So and back then it was like, you know, there wasn't a lot of that's people what, wearing that's what Megadeth it was like. shirts. And then, but Carlos then. hung out with you, and he was totally different. He, yeah, he, he would laugh. Yeah, he's like, ah, you gonna you gonna, uh, gonna scare him again? Yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> well, your, your, your generation of metalheads were the scary metalheads. Yeah, yeah, we there was a lot of fighting. Now, the, the, the generation of metalheads I grew up in were all the fashion ones. Yeah, and now they're still all the fashion ones. Yeah, yeah, it's um. It's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's different. Yeah. All right, then. Um, all right. Let's, let me take a quick break real quick. Oh, we're back, huh? We're, we're back right, again. Let's, let's get into the crazy question before we get out of here. We always have someone pick a question from the bowl. Mix it up a little bit, huh? Go ahead. If you could start your own skate company, what is the name? Damn. <laughs> oh, man. I think that's a pretty good one. Here, let me hold that one. What would be the name? I don't know, man. I never really thought about that. You never had, You never thought about it back in the day when we were growing up, if you had your own skate shop? Was that ever... Uh, I never... Never, nah. Nah, I was never, never been like, I wish I could own my own skate shop. I'm going to have to... I would think maybe you would have called it American Dream. No. <laughs> no. No. No, I probably wouldn't have. Um, would have been something different. Something different, but I don't know. I never. That's a good one, man. Now you got me thinking. Mm hmm. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know, but. All right. We can do another question if you want. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, Peralta, you have any idea what you would name a skate shop if you own one? Uh, not really. I never really sat there and thought about that either. Yeah, that's, like, that's a good I, one. That's a good question, but it's like, I can't really think of like. It's like I never saw myself as a shop owner. I I, I thought about owning a bar with the mini ramp in the back, and oh, you'd have a lot of loss. a lot of broken bones in that one. Right? <laughs> well, well, not, not not for the public, you know, oh, just, yeah. just just for like my friends to come in and they, it was uh, like, hey, there's a mini bar in, or there's yeah. a mini ramp in the back, and let's go for it. I have a I have a beer tap set up right there, so you guys get free beer. Oh wow! Man, but Rich, we'd be there all you'd be there all the time, Rich. <laughs> wow! Maybe, I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd have to have Miller Lite for him. Yeah, I wouldn't carry I, that. It would have to be clean, clean tap beer because i'm pretty picky on beer as well i like i just get out of the bottle it seems safer like i go to places some places are flat you know like yeah out of the tap and then i don't know how clean they are over there well i mean i watched a lot of bar rescue so i know how that's what i'm saying i, I know how much it takes to keep your bar going <laughs> i got a good miller light story dude real quick uh -oh. so so i got invited to this uh like a it's one of those brew tap kind of little things mm -hmm. where they make all those those weird ipas Mm -hmm. And I don't like those things, man. So someone said, hey, that booth right there has got, they got domestic beer on tap. They wouldn't say what it was, and it was Miller Lite. Mm. And I took a drink, and I was like, oh, man, let me get another one. And the guy's like, you know, he's getting kind of offended because I wasn't buying the IPAs. I'm like, now, whatever beer is in this tap, man, is the best beer right here, guaranteed. <laughs> and it was Miller Lite. It was, it was out of a keg, and he, he got... Yeah, he was pretty upset. Yeah, but, nah, uh, yeah, because like they're really they they like their little crafty beers. Yeah, man. that's cool. But yeah, who the hell is gonna drink horchata beer? I mean, yeah. come on, man. No, it, that it's just... probably like one and done. If anything, you know, yeah. you take a drink, you're like, oh, that's good, and then, but you're not, you're not drinking it all night. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And he but was... then again, some people maybe just want one beer. I don't know. That's weird, but it, yeah, it, it's the whole hipster thing, you know. It just yeah. tastes like I want to go to sleep. If I drink one beer of those, I drink one at Thanksgiving at. At, at Ashley's house, and I was like, "Oh man, I get ready to go to bed." <laughs> yeah. I mean, I understand like crazy flavors like that. I'm just like, I don't know, but yeah. you know, like the coffee flavored beers and all that. I'm like, those are those are cool. They're pretty good. Yeah, they could. I have I haven't like a little stout very to try. Was good. Like yeah. the Guinness was all right. Yeah. Like there's some like there's there, there's some beers I've drank and like completely just take a chunk and like dude, I feel like I'm just drinking a cup of coffee. Yeah. And then, then here comes the bus, and you know. This is a good yeah, cup of coffee. Pretty good. Uh, this is the good, good cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, dude. Well, damn, I wish we would have got a name for a skate shop, but that's all good. I'll think of something, man. All right. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll video chat you, man. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't know. On a skate man. shop? Yeah. 
Shit, I mean, I, we, we had trouble coming up with the skate team name for our skate team. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something you really got to think about. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, there's those explosions again. Again. All right. You ain't got no wineries around here, so I know they're not scaring the birds off. <laughs> that's what they do up there. They, there's like, they do little explosions like that to get the birds from stopping eating the grapes and oh. the cherries and stuff. Oh, Just shit. Take yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they, 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 you hear them a lot, like at certain times of the year. Maybe but, there is a winery, we just don't know about it. Nah, you know winery. Some dude's making pruno. It's all condos. <laughs> making pruno. <laughs> He's like, I gotta yeah, keep the bird off my could be some, But uh, yeah, you. man. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for coming down, man. I know we 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 done a good amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. How long have we been here? Yeah, a couple been, hours. Uh, over, an hour. over an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Pralta, you have any questions before we get out of here? Um, no, I just, I mean, I heard some pretty great stories. I think they covered a lot of what I didn't know yeah. about Rich. Yeah, yeah, you heard some off off camera as well, so yeah. those are not YouTube friendly, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, there was, it's all had, good. Nah, we've had some really good times, dude, growing up, and and I, I appreciate you uh, uh, introduced me to skateboarding and and uh, been a really good friend of me throughout all these years. You're always checking yeah. up on me, always calling yeah, man, everybody, for sure. saying what's up, but. Uh, Really got to, man. That. Yeah, you got man. to. You got to check up on your on your friends. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, for your family. Yeah. Um, that's it's important. You know, yeah. everyone's going through different shit, so it's like, uh, yeah. call them, check on them, because you don't know if if, if you're gonna be able to later. Yeah. That's the sad part. Yeah. I'm getting older. It is. It is. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. uh, we're only here a short time. Yeah. Might as well just have have a good time with it. All right. Don't always be in a rush. Enjoy yeah. life. Enjoy life. Chill out. You know. You got shout outs? Family. Uh, family. Say uh, hi to Cindy and um, Thomas and Trin and Ben and Avea and um, Blake. Shout out, shout out to everybody out uh, there. Everybody. Ashley and Lisa and Cassie. You know, Dylan's out there. And um, say hi to Terry. Terry helps me out a lot. Say hi to Gary. Um, Gary's taught me a lot of stuff. And everyone in the town that's like um, took me in. Yeah. You guys help me help me be or accomplish what I needed to accomplish and be who I am today. Cool, um, I want to thank everybody for uh, their patience because I know I'm not the fastest <laughs> mechanic shop, but there's a lot of variables that come into it. It's why it takes so long sometimes. But oh, of course. To all the loyal... You want to get it done right. You're yeah, not trying all... to get the... Yeah, yeah, and to all my loyal customers that, that have stuck with me for going on 10 years, I want to say thanks. Uh-huh. You know, it's a lot of people that... that um, you know, they look out for me and shout it's cool them, it's man. cool it's shout uh, out to the community yeah the small town kind of thing you know it's not for everybody you know and and i do get bored because everything closes so early but yeah um, there's a lot of, of cool people that i've met having the shop that's cool you know shout open open them. by my my thinking or the way life is you know yeah. those, those explosions again we're gonna have to figure out what yeah those we're gonna are. have to go check those out <laughs> All right, Pronto, any sh- shout-outs? Uh, like I said, shout-out to everyone. Skate Squad, that I'm with right now. Named them Off to Lunch. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're calling ourselves. You know, off to Lunch? Yeah, we're Off to Lunch. There you go. What do you, What do most skaters do when they go to lunch? They go, usually go take a skate break instead of go eat. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I used to do that. Yeah, so, and then uh, shout-out to, you know, where the local skate. Thank you for coming down. It's cool yeah. to finally meet you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool to finally you know, come down and, and just... Um, Meet everybody. Yeah, you know? we, I mean, we've heard plenty of stories from Rich from you, so it's cool to finally meet you. <laughs> we got some more stories, Rich. I know <laughs> we do. Yeah, we could. Yeah, you could always come back and do another episode, man. The best one, oh. or the funniest one, <laughs> sketchy one, was when we got locked in that cop car. We got locked in a cop well, car. We got put in the cop car because they thought we were tagging. Okay. You remember what they were saying to us? Calling us monkeys in a cage, and I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah. We're remember, gay, we're, they were straight disrespecting us. Yeah, he's but... like, "You want to be a bunch of monkeys in a cage? We'll put you in there." You know, and, <laughs> and we're looking at each other like, we "What?" Didn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. But man. see, that was a different time back then. It was like, yeah, it was kind of. Uh, I wish we had cell phone footage, or, you know, or anything like that, but. Maybe we could have got paid. <laughs> mm, maybe. I got a lot of footage, man. Yeah. I, I had a crazy one like that when I had my Forerunner. I, yeah. was, I remember I was going to 7 Eleven and I was driving my Forerunner, my hoodie on, driving, and I'm coming back home. And then all of a sudden they pull me over and they're all like, 
oh, uh, we pulled you over because we, we heard there was uh, car robbers going on. You kind of look like the suspect. Oh, yeah. There and you I'm go. Like, you fit the description. I'm like, I, and what I was tripping on is the first thing he's all like, times. license and registration. Yeah. So I gave him all my stuff, and he's all, yeah, we heard someone's jacking cars, and then they look like he was like, how am I jacking cars? I'm driving my and own I, car. And I, gave, <laughs> I just showed you my proof of my own car. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's like the you knew where all his stuff was. Yeah, yeah, what's all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, man, it, yeah, it sucks to to be discriminated and and you know and and we were probably skating as well. So yeah, we were it, at Cal High. Yeah, we we're at Cal High. Oh, I do remember that skateboarding, and we're like, we're skaters, we're not taggers. But yeah. I mean, I I, did, I dabbled in a little bit of both, but they didn't know that. I remember I was always the lookout for you guys. <laughs> 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 but again, man, uh, dude, it. Is that it? Pro yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're and, set. Uh, we're set, man. Thank you again for coming down uh, and yeah. sharing your story with us because I didn't know how you got on the skateboard. And uh, again, thank you everybody for tuning in once again. Thank you for uh, watching us and enjoying the show. Make sure to hit that like and all, and make sure to subscribe, subscribe to our channel and leave, leave us a comment down below. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Where the Local Skate. I'm OG Skate Show. Till next time, everybody.